Yo, 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 what's good, man? It is Thursday, and Thursday, if you guys didn't know, is my favorite day of the week. That is why I decided to drop my show on Thursdays. And when we do migrate to video, I'm pretty sure that we're going to drop the video on Thursday. Audio will still remain on Mondays. And you know what? Fuck all that. You were listening to the world famous Behind the Baller podcast recorded in 8K high doge finishing sound. Yes, sir. I am your host, Ben Baller, not Ben Humble. All right. Most of you know me as a Korean John Cusack, but right about now, I am definitely the Korean Earl Woods. This is a Dust Brothers production. That means this is museum quality professional podcasting brought to you by Miles Davis and Jordan Winter. Jordan's getting married soon. It's about to join that married club. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, shout out to the Dust Brothers. Uh, guys, we are not fucking around. We are really kicking ass right now. Shit is going really well. Crypto's doing well. Everything is 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 really up and up. BTB Army is up and up. I really appreciate you guys. Again, had a great time in New York City. I'm back home at the trap recording live from the Million Dollar Man Cave. And um, it's good to be back home. You know, was, I got right back into the shit. No rest. Just been kind of going crazy. Uh, getting ready for a crazy April. No April Fools in this motherfucker. I don't play that shit, not at all. And I'm I'm too old for that for that jokey joke shit. You know I fuck with the homies, but not with you guys. I don't play that. But um, as most of you know or the world knows, um, I don't care about the ratings and whatever and all the other shit with the Oscars. It's just been kind of dead. You know there there's a ton of fucking long winded uh, awards. And you know the problem with it is that um, everyone gets to, needs their due process. I get it, but. It's like there's six really major awards that people care about. And then the other ones are kind of like, just like, oh, it's a flex. I got an Oscar. I got an Oscar. What'd you win an Oscar for? Oh, I won an Oscar because, um, you know, I did the fucking, the titles on, you know, this movie and whatever. I did this and just like, the fuck are you talking about? But the talk of the Oscars is none of that shit. You know, it sucks that Questlove kind of had to get shadowed by the situation with Will Smith and uh, Chris Rock. And, you know, I've had a lot of time to process it. Um, didn't happen to me. Something I've been thinking about. Why? Because the media and everyone else has been fucking talking about it like crazy. The memes are crazy. And I knew it'd be that way. I knew it was going to be that way. And, um, you know, after you watch it a bunch and people still think it's kind of fake, look, it ain't fake. Ain't no motherfucker. Like, it's not even ain't no way. It's just like, God damn. I, you know, some people are like, that's the way the world is. That's because that's how it is. And we love it. No, I, I don't love that part. I don't love the stupidity. I'm not saying that everyone has to agree, but the stupidity part, like some people looking at a fire and being like, you know what? Well, what happens? Maybe it's not a fire. Let me walk into it. Why? Because you have to test authority sometimes. You test a tester. Nah, dog. Nah. Don't be that dude. Whether it be for clout, for clownery, for whatever. Trust your intuition on that. If your intuition is telling you certain things are wrong, and it's not about like, it's, it's really, it's fucked up that somewhere, you know, say trust your gut. Whether it be the vaccine, whether it be the COVID was fake, whether it be any of this shit, what the fuck, the, think that motherfucking Trump stole the election? Like, how could anyone even in his family think that? That's what the crazy shit with me is, right? There is a general, you know, thumb of two plus two equals four. It's not really debatable, Okay, this is somewhat debatable, though, as far as was Will Smith justified for for slapping Chris? I think he thinks he was because of everything that was going on in his life. That ain't how it works, though, because I've been in those situations where, you know, a lot of shit is and not everyone knows what the fuck is is going on with me. And um, I've told this story before. I don't know if I told it on this podcast. I feel like I've said it before, but like you ever been in traffic before? And um, you're in a bad mood. You're irritated by something. Could be something pretty petty though. You know, you got an argument with your girl, uh, got an argument with your boyfriend. Who knows? Okay. You're at a stoplight and the light turns green and the guy doesn't go in front of you. So you honk your horn and you say, what the fuck, dude? Can you fucking move? What's going on with you? Come to find out. Let's say you do have a conversation with the guy. And you're like, yo, what the fuck's up with you? And the guy tells you, yo, man, um, I- I'm sorry. My bad, man. You know, uh, my mom just got killed. Uh, she died today, man. You know, she she was murdered. Uh, my bad, I just lost my job. You know, um, 
I don't know how I'm going to pay my rent. I don't know how I'm going to take care of my kids. Oh, shit, my bad. Um, You know, I just lost love of my life. She was cheating on me, and we've been married for 20 years, and I'm just trying to figure this out now. Now imagine, how does that change your mood, right? You you never knew. You didn't know that. You're like, fuck this. I just want to get, you know, from point A to point B. Maybe you wanted to get to the gym. Maybe you wanted to get to work. Who fucking knows? What about that guy? And you can sit there and be like, well, fuck that guy, right? Okay, well, all I'm saying is, there was definitely a lot of built up aggression. Um, it will, you know, um, his a lot of weird things, you know, and you you don't know what's going on, right? Even even though his son is kind of like co signed it, whatever. Then people want to want to fucking talk shit about Jaden and compare him to fucking Kyle Rittenhouse. The most wow, this shit in the world, like what the fuck is dog? This is a sad ass world, you know. And I, maybe I started need to start listening to more podcasts of people who have that, you know, um, the Tiki Torch side, you know, th- those um, Confederate flag people, and maybe really just kind of like, just, you know, be in their shoes and kind of absorb that for a little bit and see, you know, um, th- there is a wrong and right. And there's just, people are just fucking stupid. But I like Jaden. He's a good kid. I don't think um, that one tweet condoning what his dad did is going to, you know, change my judgment of dude. You know, that's his father. I get it. But I do have to state the obvious is that Jada has been saying crazy ass shit. You know, um, when you hear the word entanglement, I don't even know today if that is an actual Webster's Dictionary word. But that word entanglement, Nobody is ever going to think of anything else. You're not going to think of the dictionary. You're not going to think about anything else. You're going to think of Jada first. Then you're going to maybe either think of Will Smith or you're going to think of August Alsina, right? Weird situation. Jada's put that dude into some shit, right? She's compared Tupac to all kinds of stuff, whatever, booming. You know, again, I never was a huge Will Smith fan, but I respected everything he's done. And then, you know, like I think... Pursuit of happiness is when he started to win my heart. I was like, damn, this dude's a real actor. And then, you know, um, my really good friend, Gabrielle Union, she like was like, just, she's close with him. And, you know, she would say all these great things. I'm like, ah, oh, no, you know, he's still just, he's just too poppy for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm more on the edge. Like, and even though Martin was popular, Martin was still gutter. Martin was still kind of like, you know, and of course this is before Big Mama's House and all the other, I don't know all these other, you know, family ass movies he did, but, Bottom line is, I've felt this way for a long time. Rappers have felt this way for a long time. Besides summertime, anything after 1989 or 90, people made fun of Will. Even getting jiggy with it it was kind of like the jokes here and there. He did a really bad freestyle on Oprah one time. Or was it Barbara Walters? I forgot. And, you know, he's been the butt of so many jokes for so long, for decades, right? No matter how cool the young people thought, you know, if you were I'm trying to think with my boy Mickey, boy Mickey who owns Mag Park sneaker store, I don't know what age he is, but even like my boy Jeff who owns Riff, right? That era, like, you know, if you're like 33 to 38 and you're watching Fresh Prince and you're, you're a kid, so like, let's say in 80, no shit, yeah. If you were a kid in the late 80s or early 90s, I'm sorry, if You were young, if you were like 10 in the early 90s, then, you know, this applies to you. You thought that Will was pretty cool coming up. Now, if you were closer to Will's age, you know that motherfucker wasn't that cool. Famous, rich, talented, yes, but I'm just saying it was a different thing. Chris Rock was, you know, always wild and funny. Yeah, you know, he's a skinny looking dude. He was pooky. Uh, motherfuckers didn't think he was the most handsome dude. He was super. He's definitely, you know, that motherfucker flourished crazy in the last 15 years. Okay. But what's wild is Chris is known to say some off the wall shit. Did he deserve the slap? Man, I don't think so, man. I'm going to be real. And I'm not an enormous Chris Rock fan. I was definitely a much bigger fan of dude before the 2000s, right? When he was doing some raw, he was doing raw comedy, like real fucking raw comedy. You know, um, in the early 90s and the late 80s, he was doing some crazy shit. So, you know, 
I feel for Chris. I know he's doing shows and everything, and I just like, damn, man, he's not taking a break. I think, like, man, could you imagine how fucking humiliated he must be inside? Like, I don't give a fuck how cool he is. He's talked about times where he's been robbed when he was on Saturday Night Live and all this other shit. Dude's a bigger person than most people is because he it could have played out different ways. You, people slowing it down here and there. I tried not to watch it so much, and I definitely could have watched it 100 times more in different you know aspects of angles and different things and perspectives. I saw everything I needed to see. And I think Will just had enough. He was like, man, fuck this. And a lot of people, you know, the game, other people are giving the reasons why this, this, and this. Nah, man. Look, everyone has their own opinion, and that's cool. Just think like dog, man. If that would have been The Rock, if that would have been somebody else, you know, if that would have been fucking, you know, um, Jason Momoa, it wouldn't have happened. Will wouldn't have did it. You know, it could have even been fucking, you know, I mean, my boy Scott Venner was like, it could have been Joe Rogan. And he wouldn't have did it. Or he would have got his ass whooped right there. People also who might have been, you know, badder motherfuckers wouldn't have hit back, right? Chris was, it was so awkward if you watch the real full unedited version, you know, they had to go to commercial break, they had to be all kinds of shit, they had to stop and Denzel had to break it up and all this other shit and everything. And I'm sure Denzel was kind of like, what the fuck's going on here? And there's all kinds of weird shit. And Denzel's getting old, man. He's the man, but it's like, it's not the same. And trust me, I'm the biggest fucking Denzel fan. And this is somebody who knew him, right? All I'm saying is, had Chris Rock been at least 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and been a decent size and not been the dude who's just kind of like the jokey joke guy, Will wouldn't have did that. So that's kind of whack. And uh, that's just, that's all I need to talk about it unless some someone fucking dies from this thing. Now, you know, that is beyond my two cents. That's my dollar right there on the, you know, what I think what's going on. Do they take his award? I don't know, man. I think that's kind of crazy, right? And then the Academy's saying that they asked Will to leave. Well, I don't know about all that. He said he refused to leave and all this other shit and whatever. And it's like, fuck color, fuck everything. He won the Best Actor Award, right? And he had the longest speech in Oscars history. Did you see all the pictures of Will Smith and the videos of Will Smith after? How sorry was he? Right? If that was me... And I just did that shit. I don't give a fuck how many yes men were around me, right? I'd be like, fuck this, I'm going home. I ain't about to be out partying this and that, whatever. He must have thought, he must have really thought he didn't do anything that bad because he was out dancing. He was out having a good ass time. He's out hanging out with a bunch of people, taking pics, having people I know take pictures with the fucking Oscar in their hands. I don't know, man. Do they take the award? That'd be a fucking big fucking thing. And if people boycott it, man, listen, no one gives a fuck. Okay, if every black actor on the earth decided to boycott the Oscars, I don't think they really give a fuck. At a certain point right now, people are really just pushing it with everything. It ain't got nothing to do with the thing. I'm just saying like everyone wants to go to war. Everyone's fighting the wrong fight. You know? Oh, shit. In fact, me, I, I get riled up. Oh, you ain't gonna have my shit on time? Fuck you, right? I know it's wrong. Because we need to develop more patience, more humility. Right? Everyone immediately, Questlove wanted to cancel me because I said I was Republican and whatever, boom. I was like, motherfucker, some of your idols are. Why don't you fucking say something about Russell Simmons and everything else? Everyone's a hypocrite. You know, people want to avoid shit. And I'm just like, man, I'm so close to unfollowing so many motherfuckers. People are like, oh, what does that got to do with anything? It just shows I ain't fucking with people no more. If they took the award, it'd be some shit. It'd be them standing up in the times where it's super crucial right now because a lot of fuck shit going on. And if you don't put your foot down, then it's going to be fuckery all over the place. So, you know, uh, they're saying that comedy clubs are stepping up right now and telling people don't fucking pull a Will Smith and whatever and blah, blah, blah. Look, man, there's a lot of comedians out there who won't play that shit. And, um, you know, I don't think that's why Dave Chappelle got buff and got all big, but yeah, man, um, I've seen people step to George Lopez and other people, whatever. You get your ass whipped, you know, being, being doing stupid shit like that. You know, jokes are jokes, man. It's fucked up. It's part of it. It's part of the game, you know, whether you signed up for it or not. It's fame is a cold fucking thing. Fame, Hollywood, it's a cold game. Cold, dirty game. And that's all I need to say about that. You know what else is a cold, dirty game? The jewelry game. 
and we're about to get into it right now. And I did not plan on spending that long talking about that. I want to get into this interview with me, Greg Yuna, and Jimmy Boy. And, you know, I talk to Jimmy on a regular basis. Jimmy's got to tell me all the trials and tribulations he still has to deal with, right? Motherfuckers hating on him, telling that fucking, you know, his AP that he, that he made for Kodak was fucking fake and that it fucking had Chinese movement in it, all this other bullshit. And it's like, yo, I hate that he has to be out there. Part of the way he presents himself, though, you know, and I tell him, people say, oh, I'm so sick of you saying that Jimmy Boy's fat. Shut the fuck up. Don't worry about what the fuck I tell my homie, right? How I give him tough love. But it ain't going to be me. I have homies hit me up like, yo, man, this jeweler. Dog, don't hit me with another jeweler. What the fuck are you doing? Bro, could you imagine hitting Michael, asking Michael Jordan about a fucking basketball play and you got a dude who's playing like not even, you know, Division three college ball. We're talking about like this dude is barely right. He's on a junior college level. I know every single fucking trick of the trade. Don't hit me with some shit. I had some fucking dude telling me, you could check that, you could check that, because one of my boys was sketched about some diamonds. He said, you can check everything. But guess what? If you check it, the price is double. Shut the fuck up, little goofy-ass, corny little fucking cornball dumb fuck. You have nothing else in life you could fucking do. And if it wasn't for your fucking family, you wouldn't even fucking be in this position. Shut the fuck up. You don't know shit about what it is to really, really run a fucking real jewelry business and change the game. Everyone's talking shit about somebody else. I say what I need to say. I've already done all the accolades. Don't talk to me about fucking selling bust downs and selling Cubans and all that other bullshit. I've already done all that. Does someone trust you with 250000 to a million dollars of real money, not inflated numbers, to do your thing with a custom piece? No. They don't. Great, dog. You, you have Mitchell Mills, right? Do you, what'd you buy it from? Avi and Co., where'd you grab a watch when you bought a watch that was already pre-busted down, right? That had maybe a VS2 SI1 mix that looks, you know, pretty much like an average VS2 clarity. All right, great. You know how fucking easy it is to bust down a watch today? Like, do you have any idea how the, the create, what kind of creativity is it? It's like making a pizza at home now. It, it, it's so fucking absolutely mind-blowing how talentless you have to be to bust down a watch. Okay. Oh, great. So rare. This watch is so rare. There's 300 here. Like, yeah, there's 300. It's great. Okay. And like 30 people want it, maybe. And be like, no, what the fuck is it sold down? <laughs> no, dog. It's called marketing. You make that fake fucking, you know, desire. That, that fake demand. You know, it's like, you got this market and you be like, oh, people have to get this and some people and the rappers buy it because, you know, they, they have that image. All right, cool. I'll get a rich mail, boom, here and there, whatever. And it just trade hands. All it does, goes from one hand to another. Someone does this. Maybe they shine it up. Maybe they do different things with it. Boom. Goes from one hand to a fucking another. Find out how much you could actually get for that motherfucker when you trade it in. That's why when people go to Dubai, they get their heart broken when they find out what their shit is really worth. Okay? I seen a video. I, I was fucking embarrassed. Lil Pump, I can't even believe he's still fucking around. And he said, yo, man, you wearing bust downs, motherfucker? We rocking straight plain Janes in here. Bro, the plain Jane song came out in 2017. I was rocking plain Janes in 2015. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? Does someone trust you? with a quarter million, half million, or more budget to make a custom piece from scratch. Some people got it, some people don't. I'm just letting you know. That passing one thing to another is bullshit. Buying a $200,000 watch that a motherfucker bought for one ninety, so there's 10 grand a pass, be like, oh, I don't care, it's money. No, dog, because they got nothing else to do. I don't post the content. We have months and months of content for IF and Co. Crazy shit. All I care about is those two, three pieces I make in the year, sometimes three or four. Sometimes people want to post it. Sometimes people don't. All I'm saying is don't bring that clown shit to me. I don't want to know about it. And I'll be, look, I'll keep it 100. Greg's my dog. He wants to be PC with everyone, though, for the most part. You know, Greg smacks some people up here and there, but I'm saying he don't want no beef. You know, again, false pretenses. I didn't start no beef with fucking Eric the Jeweler. 
I randomly seen some dude uh, post one of my homies post his page. I was like, all right, cool. I was like, I'm blocked. That you're a goofy motherfucker. Like, why the fuck would you ever? Like, unless you're like this little, you know, I'm not going to get the dude, dude to mention this. When I see the kid, I'm going to smack the fuck out of him. And he's just not the type of person to press charges because he's too scared because he knows he get fucked up. Um, but let's get into this interview. We do get a new perspective from Greg and Jimmy and Dave. They've uh, graduated to different things. I want to say one good thing um, before we do start this interview. On my timeline, I saw Lil Wayne got this new lighter chain. It looked like a Chrome Hearts thing. I ain't gonna lie to you. I thought Chrome Hearts made it. Elliot made it. It's hard for me to say Eliante. I don't know if that's his real name or anything else, but Elliot made it. Um, it was should have went to Elliot or Eliante, whatever it may be. He made this lighter. It was pretty fucking sick. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's probably the first time I've seen something like, oh shit, that's fucking, it was pretty lit. I thought Chrome Hearts made it, but they did. It was for Lil Wayne. And so I, that, that's how we start the interview. You know what I mean? So Miles, uh, are we getting to a commercial? Oh shit, okay, I hear some Lakey in the background. So I know we go into the commercial right now. And then uh, we're gonna go into this interview with uh, with Jimmy Boy and Greg. All right. The secret of creative testing is this. No one knows what they're doing. From CMOs to marketing managers, everyone is just making it up they're faking it. If that's you, you're safe with us. Confess. Admit you don't know. Then make your life a whole lot easier and finally know that you know with Marpipe. Marpipe is a new multivariate testing platform for Facebook ad creative that lets you do creative testing better. The average Marpipe customer reports that their ad performance doubles in less than 30 days. This is not some shady offer you find in your spam folder. Marpipe is an Adobe-backed ad tech platform that is remaking the digital creative industry. It's deceptively simple. Just upload your assets and Marpipe will create hundreds of ad variants and seamlessly launch them with one click. When growing a brand like mine, you got to have Marpipe on your side. Marpipe works with companies that are spending tens of thousands on Facebook to brands as large as Mars, Tubi, and Quip. And Business Insider calls Marpipe the money ball of ad creative. If you're spending over $25,000 a month on Facebook advertising, you need Marpipe today. Book a free demo at marpipe.com slash baller right now and get a free $2,000 credit. But don't wait. This offer is only for a limited time. Sign up for your free demo and get a free $2,000 credit at marpipe.com slash baller. That's M-A-R-P-I-P-E dot com slash baller. Summer is coming and we all know that feeling good on the inside is just as important as looking good on the outside. Cosmo Contour is here to help. They are the first infrared gym in the country. Best part, it is here in the City of Angels, providing machines such as infrared treadmills, stairmasters, rowers, saunas, and more. Cosmo Contour has found a way to biohack the gym process. It takes half the time of a traditional workout with five times the benefit and three times the calorie burn. Open to men and women starting now. Cosmo Contour is where beauty meets fitness, providing benefits of weight loss, cellulite reduction, tightening, detoxing, relaxation, pain relief, improved circulation, immunity, and much more. They have the top medical grade machines that provide fat reduction and body contouring in any areas of concern. For people that are interested in body sculpting, they are offering a promotion for the first time customers Treatment for two body areas for less than the price of one. And those interested in the infrared workout or infrared saunas, they are offering a buy one, get one free deal if you mention Ben Baller. Visit their website at www.cosmocontourspa.com. That's C-O-S-M-O-C-O-N-T-O-U-R-S-P-A.com and choose Baller at the time of booking or find their Instagram at 
Cosmo Contour to see what they're all about. Cosmo Contour cares about how good you'll look in your underwear. Most probiotics don't work. If you've ever struggled to find a good brand, here's why. To be truly effective, a probiotic must survive the trip from your mouth to your gut. The majority of probiotics, even the special refrigerated ones, die in your harsh stomach acid well before they get to where they're needed. That's why I'm a fan of Just Thrive Probiotic. Their exclusive strains are designed by nature to put up an armor-like shell when conditions get rough. In fact, studies have proven that Just Thrive Probiotic arrives 100% alive in your gut and ready to go to work. That's what makes them so uniquely effective at controlling gas, constipation, and bloating, and providing much-needed immune support. Their vegan, non-GMO, gluten, dairy, and soy-free formula can even support beautiful skin, better sleep, and easier weight management. For exceptional health, there's nothing like the award-winning Just Thrive Probiotic. Thousands of customers can't be wrong. Make this your year. Support your immune health with Just Thrive. Get 15% off when you go to justthrivehealth.com and use code BALLER at checkout. It's www.justthrivehealth.com. Make sure you use code BALLER at checkout. Yo, yo, you are listening to the world famous Behind the Baller podcast. We are live in the Rotten Apple, aka New York City, city of dreams. Um, we got Houston, Texas in the house. We got Queens, New York in the house. We got Manhattan in the house. We got Koreatown in the house. So we got the East Coast, West Coast. We got the Dirty South in the building. This is a very special episode. Um, as you guys know, I've had both these guys on the show before. I've had my man Jimmy Boy and my boy Greg Yuna. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Greg Yuna and Jimmy Boy to the show. Hand claps, everyone. Hand claps. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here. Jimmy, what's good, bro? What you doing, man? Chilling, chilling, bro. What are you doing out here? Man, I'm out just getting to the money, you know? Don't give me that fucking bullshit-ass fucking halfway <laughs> talk, bro. What are you, you doing out here? Like, you, you got yeah, I'm out here. yeah, I got business out here, you know what I mean? Go to see some clients and... Come hang out with you. You going to sell some SI1s, bro? What you going to do? Oh, man. I moved on up. <laughs> I just upgraded. Greg, what you, what you doing, man? What's, what's going on? Happy, what, by the way, first of all, Shabbat Shalom. How you doing, thank bro? Thank you, thank you, thank you. How you. The question is, how you doing? I'm not going to let you control this one. This is all real. of us. <laughs> For real. This is how all you of doing? us. You in my city, bro. Why, why is your penis hard? It's not hard. It's the way the pants are. Um, it's the way I'm sitting right now. Now see it, bro. It's, it's, if it, it's definitely not your face. Okay, <laughs> did you just did you just come from Shabbat dinner or no? I did. Just left my mama's house. Okay, who's over there? Mom and dad, brothers in Miami. So, I pulled up on him. I met your your dad for the first time yesterday. Isn't he incredible? Fucking cool guy, dude. Oh man, incredible dude. Why you gotta call me Jacob, bro? He he he's just he's not hip. You know he doesn't know what's <laughs> going on. He thought you were Jacob the jeweler yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Last time I had these guys on the show, we were in double digits, I would believe early 20s. It was really early on that Greg was on the show. We started up a lot of shit last time. Jimmy was on here. We talked about a lot of things and people like that. Um, we are at episode 263 now, and uh, a lot has changed with this podcast. We have gone global. We are number one in Botswana. We're number one in fucking 17 countries in the world. It's kind of crazy that this podcast has gone there. As far as the business category... Business, strictly business. And um, it's actually the first question I want to start off with because when I talked to both these dudes, things were different, right? So, Jimmy, do you own a house now? Yeah, definitely. You own Couple. a house now? Okay. You didn't own a house then? Uh, the last podcast? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Did you? Yeah. Okay. I owned a house when we knew each other. What you mean, bro? Okay. Well, shit, a house in Houston is only fucking $80,000, bro. So it's almost so damn there. So, Greg, do you own a house now? I do. See? So Greg, see a lot of things have happened. When I had Greg on this show, Greg had fucking like 80,000 followers. Where are you at now? Seriously. I'm at five something. Yeah, man. He's at fucking you know, guy. I don't want to cut y'all off. You know what? You're right. When we did the podcast, I didn't have a house under my name. Yeah. But now I got multiple houses under my name. Yeah. It was under someone else's name. 
Okay. Do you have any idea how many followers you had two years ago? Uh, I was about, I think, probably like six or seven hundred. Really? Were you? Yeah. Okay. And were you at one point something now? No, I'm at like nine sixty or nine. Oh shit. Okay. A lot has changed for you though, Greg. Because Greg, you know, whatever. Greg was the one that escaped hell, and you know, did his own thing. I've seen a lot of growth from you. I've seen a lot of growth from you too, by the way. So you want a crib now? You're born more responsible. One thing I respect about both you men, both these men in the room, I'm going to tell you this real quick. One thing that I always think about every time I want to punch Greg or think, I just think randomly about Greg, he'll FaceTime me, is that Greg feeds a lot of people, random people. Um, you know, today I was at his store and Jay Frost just handed Wendy, like, I don't know, hundreds of my dollars. And I was like, Those what the fuck's people. going on here? And that's, that's really what a good person does, right? Uh, Jimmy puts on a lot of people, people come in and out, people obviously disrespect them, don't respect it, whatever, boom, want to hate and talk shit, but this dude's paying their bills, getting their rent taken care of, whatever, boom, and they don't like certain things, well then, fucking it's the highway. So, talk about that. I'm curious. You putting out, let's just say, for instance, even a band or two bands a week on paying Joe, David, Wendy, whatever, mm -hmm. do you feel like later... Like, what happens when you can't pay them or whatever, boom, or is it nothing? Do you think, like, it's just, why do you do it? I just, th th these are, they're just my people. You know, I met them and I saw something in them that, you know, probably the whole world just wouldn't see it. They just ignore, you know? And now I got them, they're superstars now. But I love, I love taking care of them, you know? They're like, yeah, they're, no, they're, that's a really good thing. Like, like yesterday, look, I know each time, every fucking three or four months, Joe grows on me, right? Mm -hmm. Yesterday. Joe's incredible. Bro, walking in the deli and there's two people online and he's telling the lady, hey, listen here, I got to get this. She's like, I understand. Hold on, wait. Here's $100, I got it. And I'm like, yo, bro, I'm buying a $3.50 Snapple. And he's about to have this lady break 100 And he's like, how come you ain't got no black people soda here? What the fuck? I know Joe's been in that place at least 100 plus times mm -hmm. and he knows there's no black people soda in there, but he still said that. He's, he's sick. I think, but Joe was like, he's so incredible because he's harmless. You know what I mean? He's really a good dude. So... A lot of people don't understand that he's just all bark, no bite, you know? But I heard he almost got in a fight the other day on the street. <laughs> he's always getting into a fight. <laughs> Dude, this guy doesn't, it's like, it's, it's tough walking down the street with him. Jimmy, how about you, man? You got any sidekicks? You got anybody right now that you just, you know, helping out or, or no? Nah? nah, I just always been trying to put the people, uh, like put the team on, you know what I mean? I always been, a, I grew up in a household of providers, so... I've always felt good at providing, and, and when you see something, you believe in people, and you just want to be there for them. It's not even about, like, what we might give back in return or nothing. It's just more of, like, if you see something, you believe it, and you want to see it flourish into what, you know, you think it could be. I get it. Water the plants. Make sure they get the sunshine and everything. So, Greg, man, um, how long have you had your new office? Your new, uh, like... I'm approaching, actually, about a year now. About a year now. Yeah, February was a year. And you opened in the pandemic. You got a fucking... Mm -hmm. you I got was a, thriving in the pandemic. Yeah, you had a, you have a balcony. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was really proud of you, right? Thank you. Um, you still got the storefront. Mm -hmm. But from what I heard from Jay Frost is that, like, really custom is, is where your shit kills it, not like... I mean, that's where I make my money. Custom is, is where it's at for me. Right. So, I mean, like, the walk-in business ain't really nothing. It's the, not... The walk-in business is cool, but, like, no one's outside anymore. This, this last kind of... This whole COVID and this pandemic shit is just fucking everything up but right but i mean you outside bro i'm outside i was always I'll, outside i got girls dming me bro talking about yo greg is outside i'm playing with you man I'm playing with you uh jimmy whole other thing you open up your first store and then now you about to open the second mm -hmm. and where's the first store at uh the first store is in chinatown in houston at the hong kong city mall okay. uh second store we're about to open next month is in sharpstown which is kind of like our little like jury district area Sharpstown is a trip, man. It's like 90% Indians and like the rest is like Vietnamese and like whatever. It's mm -hmm. weird. Like first time I was in Sharpstown was like 05 or something. Like yeah. it ain't really changed too much. No, they got like a second story, right? They got like a little. Yeah, it's like a second story. It used to be a mall and then it turned to a flea market. Yeah. But we got the jury building right there. Hey, does TV Johnny still have a shit there? He got a store over there, yeah. Hey, how come people don't know what TV, they don't know that name TV Johnny no more? Did he get rid of that name completely? Yeah, he got rid of it, and he changes up to Johnny Dane. That's like his new alias, you know what I mean? Okay. So when does the second store open up? Uh, May. At Sharpstown? Yep. Okay. You got a lot of inventory? Uh, yeah, we got a good amount. Okay. We're going to make some noise with it. So right now, who's making noise in, in Houston as far as like jewelers go? Me. That's a good answer right there. 
That's a really good answer, man. Hey, but keep it 100, man. We're going to get right into the funk. You used to work with Johnny, didn't you? I didn't work with Johnny. I used to buy jewelry from Johnny. Remember, like, I used to be real cool with him. Our family know each other. So, like, you know, remember back in the day in 05, I got in a shootout in front of Sharpstown. They thought I was him, so they tried to rob me. We got into a whole little thing out there. Bro, you six foot, 300 pounds, bro. He's fucking 5'2", yeah, all, all they thought was just wait for an Asian dude with jewelry to come out. So when I walked out, they came up, and they were just like, yo, Johnny, da 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 And I'm like, I ain't fucking Johnny. That's when they pulled the guns out. <laughs> all right. Remember I talked about growth, right? So you had 600-something, whatever. Yeah. You had nine-something organically. I'm not going to talk about six, nine, whatever. But, you know, it, it grew your, your following. Definitely. I ran a, um, an IG audit. You know what that is? Mm -hmm. It shows you how many fake followers people have. And I pulled up Johnny Dang, right? Johnny Dang. Had two point something million followers, bro. 27% are real, bro. How crazy is that shit? That's <laughs> fucked up, right? But anyways. I mean, numbers look good, man. It's just corny shit, though. I mean. Right? I remember I ran into him at the Galleria. And he's like, you got to tell Jimmy Boy, man. You need to fucking chill out, man. You know, that, that this and that. Shut your ass up, you little ant. fuck are you talking What's about? What's your John? problem with him? I ain't got a problem. He stole, he stole pictures. He's always still doing some weirdo shit. Motherfucker, DM, look, yo, I, I wish I could put Cuddy on a line right now. Dude will message a bunch of people that I get, I make joy for. I give you a place for free. Like, just weirdo shit. Even Cuddy was like, yo, bro, I wish I could. I, one day I'm just going to reply to him and block him. Be like, dog. That's one thing, you know, it. I do want to say, like, I really hate the fact with, like, the jewelers doing the free shit and doing all that. Like, it's, it's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like. That free shit, man, it's crazy. Never in a million years. People said some shit the other day because I was saying something about like a, a gonna got some grills. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, he didn't even get a grill. He got a tooth mm -hmm. with a G or a P. No, he got a G, a, a P. P, a P. And he said the jeweler said it was $120,000. And I was like, dog, let's literally stop the cap. Mm -hmm. If that was an entire diamond, because it was a small tooth, that entire tooth was a whole diamond laser cut and custom cut, it wouldn't have been 120 grand. So I'm like, stop it. And I didn't be like, oh, you just mad good gunner don't shop with you, dog. If you guys understood. Jimmy knows better than anybody. Greg, do you actually think I'm out in DMs of rappers trying to get jewelry jobs? I'm just, I'm being, just give me your honest opinion. Even if you want to joke, if you don't want to take it serious, I'm asking you honestly. Do you think I'm messaging rappers to get jobs? I'm just asking you seriously. I don't think so. If you heard like, oh man, Ben's just mad because gonna ain't get a piece with him. What what would you think? What would be the first thing you would say? Like if some homie, like, you know, someone you respect was cool and was like, nah, Ben's just salty because he didn't get a piece. I feel like I don't think you'd waste your time on a tooth. Right. But not even a tooth. <laughs> Let's say it was a it's gotta piece. Gotta be a really expensive tooth. <laughs> but I'm saying it was a it was a piece. And someone's like, oh man, they just mad because fucking, you know, 21 Savage didn't get a piece from Ben, you know, he didn't get a piece from Ben. Like, what would you say? I don't, I, I think, I feel like you're busy. You don't, I feel like you don't have time for this shit. That's what I'm saying. That's it. That's why I really, I really don't think people understand that, right? So when Johnny's like DMing your clients even like, did he make anything for 6 9 or no? But that's his hustle. He did a grill. He his did a hustle, free grill. Listen, if ben, his hustle is to hit up people and get to the bread. If that's, if that works for him, let that work for him. How do you feel about that though? I, Offering he, something for I cheap. Come, for I, come, I come from a world where they do that. And unfortunately, yeah, it's true. on 47th, yeah. No, no, but unfortunately, this is our world. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I like to sit back and let people come at me. You're a guy that can, your work speaks for itself. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just you happen to have a shop or, or office on the on the battle zone. Mm -hmm. In a war zone. I'm in the trenches with the shit. You really are. But why, dog? Why don't you just go make it? You, so you think that if you had an office on, you know, in Soho, would it hurt your business? No, no, no. What I'm saying is if I'm going to leave anywhere, I'm going to I'm going out of town. Like, I love that street. For me, it's everything is close. It's convenient. For me to go I to know Soho, it is. it's yeah. just not it for me. For me to have a brick and mortar in Soho is not going to do anything because anyone that's in New York is going to come see me in New York anyway. Okay. Jimmy, are CVDs, HPHTs, and shit like that, are, are they still prominent in Texas and the South or no? No. You don't really hear a lot about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't offer it or sell it, but... You don't hear much about it. They like it, down south. It's they'll go straight CZ. They won't even break in between the two. Mm. In Atlanta, I hear a different dog. I see Clarity Enhanced shit. A lot of it. In there's the a lot of people. Like there's a lot of jewelers giving it without people knowing. You know. I think that's but, fucked up. Yeah, that's, that's that's fucked up. That's crazy, bro. That's fucked up. But yeah. this time, but also there's times where a lot of jewelers don't even know because they're not checking their stones. 
You get what I'm saying? So and their just, parcels are not checking. Yeah, they're not checking. They're not checking it. And what happens is, first of all, you need a machine to see if it's what it is. That it machine though. is six grand. The Literally. cheapest one. The Bro, cheapest it one. used to be 50 bands. Okay, so just hear me out. And I had one. So a lot of these dudes are just putting shit in. They don't even know. And these things, it's a diamond. It's a clone. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So they look. So speaking of that. Okay. Frank Ocean just opened up a boutique in Soho. I love what in, he's doing. In, Can in Canal Street, whatever. Mm -hmm. And everything is CBD. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all man-made diamonds, right? Conflict free, whatever. Mm -hmm. I saw the chain in person at the Met Gala. It ain't no 1.3 million, but go ahead. 1.8 million. Whatever. One I'm going to be honest with you. It is a gorgeous That's chain. Nice. It That's was nice. really beautiful. I seen it. I okay. seen it. I, seen I like it. seeing the big rocks and everything, whatever. I didn't get to count how many. If I sat and really did... Thinking maybe like 450 grand, maybe. And that's like a lot. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's literally VVS1 CVD quality, the best of the best. Mm -hmm. What do you think that thing might have cost? Him? Like raw? It cost you to make that piece. That, the whole thing CVDs, in, 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 even in, the pop. In CVDs? Uh, on it? No, no way. Th those, aren't the, those aren't like the VS2 joint. Those are like the okay, set. They're, they're like the 150. Did you not see the I, big I, stones? Wait, I'm sorry, you talking about the middle piece or the whole thing? Whole chain. How many items? There's a lot, dog. I didn't what see. Was it like a tennis like, chain or something? I, but I didn't not just a tennis chain. They're bezel set, big rocks, pavate around, and then what, connected. What, on, on the uh, chain, what's the. What's three the, carats. Each? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah. So you look, three carat each on those, you're probably looking at about. Let's, a three carat on a, on a CBD, yeah. you're looking at about like 25K a pop. Yeah. So 25K times whatever. Bro, I'm telling you, I think it's about 450 bands. Okay, bro. so there it is. So am I, am I, that's close, right? But it's beautiful. No, it is. You don't fuck with CBDs? I do not, never have. But the thing is this, how are you going to make money later on it? Is he going to bank it because he's Frank Ocean and on the brand? Or like, do you know what I'm trying to say to you? Be, having the Conflict 3 Diamonds, like, you know, the, or the, what is it called again? The, what's the word when you're cautious, when you're, like, when you think about food even? What is that? What is that term? FOMO? No, bro. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> like the, not Conflict Free. What the fuck is the world word? Environmental? Kind of like that. Eco-friendly. Like Eco-friendly <laughs> type. It's another, anyways, fuck all that. So you think that that's cool? I do. I wouldn't mind getting into a place that, look, if somebody comes to me, he's like, yo, look, I'm not trying to spend 100K on a stone. Can you get me this for 40, 50? I have access to that. I'm going to get it. It's, I wouldn't put, like, I'm not building anything Greg Una with CVDs. But if somebody requests it, I will sell it. Absolutely. Don't, Don't look at me crazy. That's that's what it is. My my personal reason why I don't offer and sell because throughout my my life of buying jewelry before I was a jeweler, I seen a lot of jewelers do this for people, and then they get busted. Then they try to throw it on the jeweler like, oh, I ain't yeah. know that. Nah, but and that's I, why I stopped. I, it was I, like I that's that's what it is. I tell them I'm, I'm I would never sell someone a, a, a CVD and but like, you you understand what I'm saying? No, what right? I'm saying yeah, I get know. what you're saying, but they know what it is. They could go through my shit. And my stuff is nice. Have you seen the, the Homer jewelry yet or no? What oh, Homer jewelry? Homer, that's Frank Ocean's company. You haven't seen that no, jewelry? I haven't seen it, no. I heard that he was opening a store, but I've never seen it. Some of the stuff is cool, whatever. That piece is beautiful. Everything else is kind of like, but look, he, ha he really went like the Cartier, like Van Cleef level, and it's clean. And I'm sure maybe even Tyler might rock with it now. It's fire. I'm, t yeah. I'm telling you, dude. I'm, listen, give, give it three, four more years, bro. The CBD shit's going to hit, and it's like, the new kids, yeah, they definitely want to pay less money here and there. But the thing is, he's charging. He's charging diamond money for that. He's charging Ben Baller prices. He's not even charging, like, he's not charging, you know, fucking jewelry. What's that fucking place in Atlanta called? Limited. Yeah, Julian Limited. He's not charging those prices. He's charging, you know, he's charging IF and code numbers for CBDs. I heard Julian Limited be charging a lot, too. Oh, really? I don't know anything about him. Okay, so, look, a lot of things have changed mm -hmm. since we've had the list, since I've had you on. We're not going to do a new list. I'm not going to get into all that. But who are some jewelers right now on the uprise? I'm being real, dog. You know, look, if, if you're scared about your business being lost by somebody else, but who do you see that's kind of making waves since the last time we've talked? Whew. I'll be honest. I haven't really been paying attention. I've been, like, doing other shit. There's a guy I've heard of that mm -hmm. I've seen, and the only reason why is obviously because, you know, I couldn't do a piece for Tyler, and then Tyler went to him, and I was like, no, no, I'm sorry, that's a different guy. I'm talking about he did a, a piece for uh, for Virgil, and that's that Izzy jeweler. Who is that guy? You're here in fucking New York. You should know. I I, I know I know them like on the street, but I don't know them personally. I, I see these guys here. Is and he there. tied to a big 
company? I, I, or no, I don't know anything about these. You don't people. know anything about I dude. I, dude, I go to that street. I put my head down. I'm on my business. When's the last time you seen Alex Moss? Um, I don't even know him like that. I don't. I don't see these people. You don't. You never fucking went to uh, what the fuck was it called? Not Avion. What the fuck's other spot? Raffaello. No, no. Alex is with Ari- Ariani. Oh, that's Alex. Yeah. Who the fuck is is the dude who does Jim Jones uh, cannabis company? Uh, uh, Alex Todd. Oh, Alex. Shout bro. out to Alex Todd. I love Alex Todd. Bro. Why does it sound so familiar? I Alex can't Todd. believe. Alex Todd's my guy. He has a cannabis line with Jim Jones. Saucy. Saucy. It cool sounds dude. so familiar. Alex bro, he used Todd, to run bro. heavy with Gabriel, with, uh, with, Avi, with I'm sorry, Jesus Christ, Gabe, here we Gabe, go. Gabriel. With Raphael Gabe. Co. He worked with, worked with Rafael and co. Alex Moss is the dude that I met at Complex Con, right? And he used to work with Izzy from Aviance. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's who yeah, Alex Moss. He got some shit. He got some shit. Okay, my bad. Young kid. Yeah, yeah young he got some kid. shit. He's probably actually the new. I see his shit pop up sometimes. Does he have a page? Yeah, he does. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Obviously. Okay. I don't know, bro. Yeah, that's I that's know, what I'm saying. You asking know, me about this shit? I'm, you know, I'm you know more about these dudes on the street than I do. You'd be surprised. No, you'd know more about these motherfuckers on the streets than I do, right, and especially su- in New York. You'd be surprised, bro. I'm up in my office. I'm in the clouds, my guy. Shit. <laughs> Let me talk my let me get spicy. Yeah, and Ben. So hold on, bro. Since we last talked, um, obviously he's been on the show three times now, four times now. Tracks, obviously, I got no beef with tracks. Je- Greg, you got no beef with tracks. Why you did that to me last time? Put me in a world of shit with that boy. You had more shit to say to me. No. Oh, was it me that started yeah, it? Yeah, you got me, you know. <laughs> hey, tracks, if you listen in, dog, Max it wasn't. Is, can I tell you something? One thing, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. We we he fucking ripped us a new asshole. And I thought nah, it was dog. funny. No. You're bugging. I'm going to keep it with Let me tell you something about Max. My man goes for 15 to 20 minutes at a time. Straight. I'm Freestyles. T- I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> Freestyles. I'm going to tell you right now. I was. I couldn't even be mad at him how I'm, he went in. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. Okay. One, didn't even watch more than a minute or two, whatever. I thought it was funny. When I did the, the clown post, the Rolex, and Max, Max is listening right now, I'm sure. Dog, I went left. And I made about seven more left turns. You, you got to understand, we, we bullied the situation. No, 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 listen, 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 listen. Bottom line is, like, I took it down, whatever, boom. Do you know who he destroyed beyond destroyed? He, he destroys everyone. No, 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 no. You think that he did us dirty? That was I amateur. Thought, I just think he's funny. He's that entertaining. Was, no, bro, that was amateur hour compared to what he did, who Scott did he Disick. He did Scott Disick on a different yeah. level, bro. Scott hired a mafia dude, a real guy who really Israel, has... Israel, Israeli cat, big dog. Yes, my boy, I'm not going to mention his name, right, it's my right, dog. Right, right, We know what's going on. When people get killed, like, motherfuckers, like, yo, it was crazy. And Max went against even him. I had to straighten him out for that when I said, bro, hold on, you need to slow the fuck down now. I know you don't get it, but let's slow down. So, just wanted to say, that was my fault, not Greg's. Yeah, you, you got me involved with this okay, shit. Okay, do me a favor. Oh. Tell everyone that's listening, what happened after we dropped that jewelry episode? What happened on 47th? Oh, we stirred up a whole bunch of shit. No, don't say we. I? Well, I mean, okay, sorry. I guess I did, and then you had to go deal with it. Cause I got you, you, you light the fire, you walk away. I gotta go back home <laughs> and I gotta deal with it. These are and these are my people. I fuck I genuinely fuck with these guys, you know? <laughs> and you think it's funny, and they're like, yo, why are you even fucking why are you doing this with this guy? Oh my god. I just love it. You lucky I like you. But why does look, I walked down the block today, 17 people in three minutes. Hey man, we get a picture. Hey, blah, 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 blah. You're a celebrity there, no, though. No, I'm just saying, you. like, if they, hate, if they hate me, then why the fuck are they? I don't, I don't think the kids that are asking you for photos are the people asking you for photos. I don't think they hate you. They fuck with you. There's just people that are a little envious of you. You, you have to understand, you've been in the position for, for quite a while, and you know. All right. Well, I remember even when I came in the game, you were my target. I said this uh, last, oh, I'm sorry, two episodes ago, I mentioned um, that Elliot was supposed to come on, but he came down, he went to LA. And I'm sure we'll let's, have a let's talk. Let's give that boy a round of applause, though, Elliot. Yeah, he's no, been Elliot's fucking bodying that guy. I haven't seen shit that he's been doing recently. Bro, but yeah, he's, he's, been, he's, he's, been, he's been fucking hit after yeah. hit after hit after hit. What's boy. the last piece he did? Uh, he, he's making... Uh, so the other day he did some... Cross, I mean, he's, oh, he always has some... He, he did this cross bracelet that's fire. Everything, yeah. You'll pull up his page, people. Check, I, I haven't, check, I haven't check seen this book. His shit is fucking crazy. He redid the BMF piece. I ain't gonna lie. That BMF piece right now is incredible. I saw the BMF piece, bro. I'm not... Like, it's not going to make it into a museum, bro. No, no definitely. But I mean, definitely. That's, I mean, that you know, he made it out. You know, listen, he's getting an order from someone. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, give my man his props. I got to give him his props. He, he give my good. man his props. No, nah, he, he, I put him on, didn't I put him on a pretty good list? Did I put him on the list? Yeah. 
So, you know, I got no he issue a beast. with dude. He a beast. Um, all right, well, Jimmy, what's the last crazy piece you made? I think Pusha T, first thing on top of my head. Who is Pusha T? Pusha T. Who is that? The rapper. You know Pusha T. I'm asleep. Back in Blood, Lil Durk, Pusha T. Yeah. Fuck, man. I think Bro, if Greg, I play the song right now, you're going to be like... Maybe he would, not me. I don't listen to new music, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know. So what'd he get? What'd he get? What'd he, what kind of piece was it? Uh, I did this uh, like character piece for him. Like a full character of his album cover. Okay. Yeah. That's the thing. Did, did it even out. come close to that fucking shark? No, definitely not. That thing right there, Jimmy, I never got to really tell you. That shark. Did you see that shark for 6 yeah, 9 I've seen the shark. That, that, the, the, uh, go, what's that company that makes everything that we make? Uh, Shop Gold. Shop Gold. What the fuck, guys? Who the fuck is Shop Gold? Exactly. Who's that? I don't know. These, 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 they, everything we make, they just copy. Don't tell me they copy one of my pieces. I'm pretty sure your yeah. shit is out there too. So who are they? I think they do. So they are they, they cap? Is, or are they? I, no, they replicate like just. Um, I think it's is it silver, and then they silver, dip it in gold. And now they're they're getting into doing like real gold diamonds, stuff like I that. I mean, I'm not mad. Stuff. They're pumping it out, but like you know, the shark I've seen a couple of times. They make if you go on their shit, it's just. I mean, it always pops up because it's sponsored. So I'm always like, hey, that's my piece. I made that, and it's like you know. I'm pretty sure you'll see something that. Oh, similar. a bunch of my pieces get replicated that's all the time. Thing. No, for sure. That's corny as fuck, bro. Yeah. Greg, what's the last piece you made that was crazy? Um, I just finished up a piece for Maluma. Uh, I didn't. We didn't actually um, post it yet because we're still waiting for something. I'm waiting for clearance from everyone, from him, from everyone. Okay. It was a collaboration that. Um, oh, I know it. I, I'm not. I'm not allowed to talk about it right now. But okay. I just did some funky shit. So that's why yeah. I, I was supposed to do that piece. Fuck you. My mind went blank. I can. I can turn my off the. No, I can no, no, off the no, mic. No, we don't gotta do all that. I can turn off the mic and let you know. No, we don't. Bro, do my that. mind just went blank. No, I forgot. I just did that watch for uh, Kodak Black. Oh, I didn't. The see Green it. AP. Green oh, Diamond yeah, AP. Yeah, yeah, that shit is crazy. Yeah. Okay, so the Maluma piece you're making, right? Or you, you just finished it already or no? Yeah, it's done. You got a picture of it? Yes, I do. Let me see. I got you right now. Here we go, here we go, here we this go. This fucking guy. No, I'm sorry. Bro. Relax, Poppy. Relax. I mean, he's wearing it in one of his posts. I give it's a in, shit, bro. See, this is the shit that I'm talking about. Let me about. see this shit. So here's the bottle. Is that Big Rock, Aqua, uh, you know, no, Aquamarine? This is, is this, it? Is, this is Aquamarines. This is, you know, yeah. little Ruby vibes. Okay. I like it. It's funky. It's not that it's just funky. You you turned They asked me to do you something. Tur you turned yeah. art into uh with the Greg Unit touch. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know Rachel be cooking up. Shout out to Rachel Goatley By the always. way, I fucking love Rachel. She's so creative. Yo. She said some shit to me yesterday. She goes, I don't follow any other jeweler. You're the only jeweler I follow next to Greg. I don't give a fuck what anybody's doing. Mm -hmm. I don't talk to anyone, blah, blah, whatever. So I'm honored that she even that, cares that girl is low-key fucking actually high-key she's just secret weapon man she's that sauce she's always cooking up she'll always like send me some random shit in the middle of the night like yo look what i cooked up i'm like oh okay so I wish I, I wish I had more paper to play you know the game that we're in it's like you can never have enough money to do shit well look i only have a few more questions about jewelry because i want to get into other things now mm -hmm. right but let's talk about it right now right so you think right now that okay first of all is jacob at the top of the game still, or he's just not even in the game we do? Like, what's the deal? What do you think, Jimmy? I just look at him like the OG, but he ain't he ain't relevant in what we doing. That's an honest answer. Greg, what you think? I would have to, I mean, I, re I respect him a lot. You know what I mean? He did his thing. He was, he came, he, he'll always be legendary. You know what I mean? For but sure, I mean, sure. I just don't think it's bubbling anymore. He just did that thing with um, High Stabiety. That was cute. A little collaboration. Yeah. But I just, I don't know. Mm. I feel like you got more, more to say about Jacob, man. I, I don't, it's just, you know, I got a bad taste in my mouth with Jacob. I don't know. What happened, bro? Speak about it. I know we talked we about it. We talk about it all the time. I don't talk about this shit anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like that's it. He owe you some money, bro. Just say it. I, I think there's just a big miscommunication over there. Okay, but I think someone in his... Someone so in money his, should be in your pocket. Yes. And it was responsible. That's all. And that's all we need to say. That's it. Correct? That's it. And it's not for fucking... Uh, what was that rice I ate yesterday? What was that Cloth. rice? It wasn't for that, right? Nah. <laughs> It was, you know. Okay, so who is? Don't I don't I don't want to be a part of this any of this because mm -hmm. I don't even consider any of this shit. Who's somebody that? Uh, I mean, is Elliot the only person you think that's making the waves like that's hitting every time now? You think or like? I what just is think it? he's just putting out like creative shit. You know what I mean? Like he pushing the envelope. I isn't think, isn't Alex he, doing a lot of his designs though? Yeah, I, I so I see his shit come up sometimes. He got some higher too. 
No, I'm saying Alex does the designs for Elliot. I have no idea what's going on as far so. as no, I think no. these are two yeah, different people. This is two different, different people. People. I, don't know. I know he was. Because I think from what I know, I remember when Elliot left Avi Avian, Alex kind of came in the picture for Avian and like kind of Yeah, I don't think that but I don't know. And I don't they know went their own ways. As far as like the the, the business yeah, behind the know. scenes, I don't I'm know. I'm gonna be one hundred with you, bro. I think he did some artwork for him, dog. I don't know. I think but whatever. That's neither here or there. You know what I'm saying? That's, so okay, so so I'm saying for you it's Elliot that's making the waves. I think Elliot the, is pushing, you know what I'm saying? He he got the culture, he's pushing the envelope and it just everything that he's pumping out is fucking crack. Yeah, literally. That's lit. You know what I mean? Is he doing corporate pieces yet or no? I think that's my that's my um it's my department. So I don't do no corporate pieces, right? You do, but you, you're in a different, you know what I'm saying? Why are you playing with us, man? What the fuck? <laughs> All right, let's get out of jewelry. Greg, what are you doing to keep money in your pocket? Because you know that this is a different game. Right. Everyone who sits there, it's miserable. You got all this fucking jewelry. A lot of these people have shit that's family fucking owned. That's going to pass down, never going to be liquid into their pocket. Right. Technically, you got dudes where, you know, they can't take the money out. So, you know, and then you have people who have, you know, half the people, it's on memo. Right. So it's like, all right, it's just sitting there. It's owned by somebody else. It's like, all right, you sell it, you sell it. If you don't, you don't. All right, let's switch it out. Boom. What are you doing to make money right now? I mean, I got brand partnerships. I was always getting like corporate bread. You know what I mean? The jewelry thing is a beautiful thing for me. I, I, I love what I do, but brand partnerships, I do little side stuff, some crypto stuff. I'm, you know, I'll try to, you know, thank, thank you for actually getting me into the crypto stuff. And my right. man, my man, Jerry from San Francisco. The collab that Amy did with uh, all the influencers in New York Ame. City, like, I'm sorry, Ame. I'm going to be real with you. That up. was that was your best look. Look, I know Ronnie's our dog. That's my boy. I've known him forever. Mm -hmm. I know you've known him for a really long time, too. Ronnie's my brother. I didn't know you in 2002, mm -hmm. but I knew Ronnie here and there, whatever, cool. And I'm happy for Ronnie. He's doing his thing. And, you know, he's like, it's like, in a way, like, I don't know. Like, it's, it's, he's popping and doing his thing, and I'm not mad at him at all. The Billy boy. I'm just, you know, the Billy boy. Kith ain't near, near a billion dog. All right. Want me to pull it up right now? We don't got to do all that. I'm, I'm, I can pull it up I'm, right I'm now, dog. You, I'm telling you what's going on, man. All right. We're going to pull it up right now because my man thinks. How, why do you, how do you even have access to this right now? Bro, it's a public company. I'm saying you can put it up. He's, he's, he's there. He's doing a little something. Mom, listen to me. <laughs> that boy is a beast. This is this is my brother. I'm telling you. But that's I don't. You know what I'm saying? We don't need to talk. His. You know. So let me ask you a question: mm. Is he paying you your fair rate, or are you doing homie shit for him? That's my brother. What do you mean? I fair? don't give a fuck about homie. I'm saying. Uh, as far as what? What do you mean? I'm saying like, let's say for instance, he was. Ronnie always puts the play together for well, me. Listen to me. You're not fucking I'm, listening. I'm listening. I'm always listening. Let's say, G Star was gonna pay you some money, mm -hmm. right? Would Ronnie match that at least, or is he, you know, you doing some homie love for him? No, nah, he, Ronnie takes care of me. Okay, then there it is. That's, that's enough said. It's beautiful. Um, crypto play, what uh, right now is something that you like right now? Crypto's up right now. I mean, I'm, I, my shit is um, uh, Ripple, XRP. Right. Okay. That's it. I don't want to touch nothing else. Okay. You own any NFTs or no? Uh, I'm actually working on something right now, but I do, I am. Um, Bro, it's kind of late in the game. We should, you should got to get that's it. A, that, that's okay. You got to get it going. Okay. What other, besides brand part, I mean, how, okay, first of all, Greg, I know you don't really care, but you're 37? 39. I'm 40 in June, bro. No, no, Greg. You were just 37 when I'm I talked to you. I'm 40 in June. June what? June 28th. I'm 40 in June, dang. Gemini. Yeah. Piece of shit. <laughs> 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 My son, Rod, is Gemini. June 29th. June 28th. June 28th. I'll be 40. You'll be 40. Yeah. Okay. Do, you don't want to have kids, nothing? You're just. I do. I do. I want a family. I just, I, I don't know when. I just feel I like. Man, bro, look, I'm going to lie to you. I'm not trying to pressure you or nothing. You but had your kids at 40. I did, but, I but like, bro, like, you know, like. Yeah, no, I'm you know, cool. it's, it's, I, got, I got it. You know, I'm trying to have one with. Uh, um, <laughs> What's wrong with you? All right. Five year vision. Where are you going to be in five years? Mm. Where do you want to be in five years? Where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, a couple stores, you know, um, living in a remote place. Bahamas? Farm, somewhere. Oh, farm, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Somewhere low key. You know, Greg, I'm going to be honest with you. I think you could do well in Miami. I think you could you could flourish out there. I know there's... I my thing is, like, I stay out the way. I don't like doing all that, like, chasing and running around and doing all that shit and, like, with, with the... I might fuck with Miami and, and do a little pop-up and see how it goes. And 
But I don't, I, you know, I don't, I don't like to be in the mix with the shit all the time. Like Look, it's, a, it's. A, I know. was the king of pop ups, right? And then he started doing that shit. Mm -hmm. Not mad at him. I don't have the fucking time. Mm. I was doing pop ups. He was coming up with me. Fucking that was almost ten years ago, bro. Mm -hmm. He was calling me fucking San Francisco here and there, whatever. Boom, and then you start doing it, and it's a, it's you'll make money, bro. Like I did my own things. Um, so couple stores, whatever. In five years, hopefully you have a kid, right? Right. When you have that kid, you're going to work 10 times harder. Yeah, I know. You think I'm joking? I'm no, being no, dead I, serious. I, I believe it. I believe and it. on top of that, bro, your parents, you're going to see a different type of smile from them. Yeah, my dad harasses me all the time. He's like, dude, let's have some kids. Yeah. No, real talk, man. All right, Greg, you're a piece of shit, bro. Thanks. Jimmy, what are you doing outside of, um, and don't tell me you're fucking selling packs of cocaine and shit. I'm what are you doing outside of jewelry that's making money? <sighs> You can't go wrong with real estate. Yeah. You know, I got other investments I get into. Like, uh, I got, like, a big cleaning company in Houston. Um, what kind of cleaning? Like, steam cleaning, car cleaning, stuff like that. Oh, okay. We just signed a contract with uh, 6T Car Rental in San Antonio and Houston. We're trying to take over the whole, like, Dallas, I mean, Texas market on that. You know what I mean? Just Houston alone. The airport, we're doing, like, 400 cars a week. What the fuck? Yeah. God, even if it's fucking twenty dollars profit, that's a lot of money. No, literally. Yeah. All right. So, what? Uh, are, are you involved in any cryptocurrency or no? Just a little. What are you fucking with? Just the typical. I, I do got a lot of Ripple, um, but I, you know, what I mean, I honestly got into it because clients were paying me in in crypto. Okay. That's how I got into it, and it, I got it in when it was low. So. Do you got some Bitcoin at all or no? I got some. Okay. You got a little Ethereum, a little everything, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit of everything. Okay. So five year vision, Jimmy. Like, where do you see yourself? I ain't gonna lie. Retired, taking care of my kids. 45, you retire? Yeah. So you got to set up the passive income now. You know that, right? Like you yeah. got to set up all the passive income. Like mm -hmm. all your businesses got to be in order. Yeah, I just started getting into some real estate in Miami. But you're right. I got to. That's what I've been working on. You know, because, you know, I'm, I'm a single dad. So my two-year-old is, is is crazy. Fuck, I forgot about that, man. <laughs> so uh, I got to really use my time wisely. You got four kids. Five total. One's about to graduate from A&M in May. Oh, that's right. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> but uh, the, the youngest three, two, eight, and 15. So Vanna uh, turned 16 in two weeks. Yep. And a uh, whole sweet, like a big party? Big party. You know, we got to do it big. You want to get her car and everything? Literally everything. Has she at least got her permit yet or no? Yeah, she just got her permit. Okay, so she can drive and everything. Yeah. Do you think you got to worry about Vanna, man? You think she's going to cause trouble? You think she's, I mean, I know she's a great girl. I'm just saying. Like, you know, as a father, you know, you always get paranoid, but then... You know, after a while, I realized, you know, she's, she's been by my side all these years. Like, I got to trust that, you know, I taught her the right thing, and there's something she's going to have to learn, you know? I met Vanna in 07, so that was five years. No, shit. One. Holy fuck. That was 15 years ago, bro. Yeah. She was one when you met her. Okay. But, I mean, what happens, like, you know, some fucking... I don't know, the next 18-year-old rapper gets in her sister's... When, she, when she's 16, gets in her DMs and everything, like... I always tell her, she, her, she, whoever she's gonna be with, they gotta worry about her uncles more than me. Like I'm, I'm chill. I'm gonna let it be. She got oh, crazy that's uncles. <laughs> that's actually real, bro. No, literally. So, um, can you, you know, imagine one of these dudes in the streets, even like Greg? Can you imagine if Greg saw Devin on the street and thought it was just like some little like short? Uh, listen, Devin listens to the, every episode of this show. Mm -hmm. Imagine if fucking Greg saw Devin on the street. Thought it was like, this little Asian guy with a fucking spiky hair. The fuck is this guy gonna do? And I realize I'm fucking literally. spray the whole fucking dude. I just said his name. I can't say what happened. <laughs> I got to tell you off camera, bro. This motherfucker is absolutely... Dog, he made Gran Torino, the movie, look fucking <laughs> like some PG shit. Like, it is crazy. All right, so let's talk about something else now. The state of metal right now is absolutely insane, okay? The price of a nickel right now, a coin, nickel coin, is 10 cents, okay? Four quarters is worth more than fucking a dollar. If you find the old coins that are like, you know, in the 1950s, 30s, mm -hmm. they're still out there here and there. Mm -hmm. That's $20. A fucking dollar is $20. So you're literally losing money every time you spend it, mm -hmm. which is crazy, right? Now, how does that come to play with us? How long does gold stay at 2000 right now? You know what I mean? And, and to even go longer, this is crazy, right? Because we have to buy gold chains. I don't know about you guys, but I have to buy 100 gold chains of every style. I might need to buy seven styles. I got to buy 700 fucking gold chains, you know what I'm saying, from a distributor to, to do certain things. I can't just buy like, you know, I mean, I used to but just buy like six, four or five. It's a different, you know, mm -hmm. we have a, I have a retail store. Yeah. You know, it's a different thing. 
How has that affected your, your sales? Have people not thinking about it? Like, so I know maybe you don't deal with that type of clientele because, you know, I don't know, but like, especially you don't because you don't have a wall of a bunch of chains. If someone wants to buy a Cuban from you, you just go get it and I'll then go grab boom. it and get it. Yeah, it's no, no problem. And you make the price right then and there. Mm -hmm. That's it's been hard for me. That's why, I like, you know, we talked about earlier, like opening a store and inventory and it, it's, it's totally different, man. It's, 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 you understand, I'm right? I'm seeing it. Like, it's the overhead comes higher. It's, okay. it's crazy, man. I got a question for Greg, because Greg seems like a person that doesn't pay attention, but he does. I do. All right, Greg, ready for this? Mm -hmm. You have 10 Cubans, mm -hmm. all 200-gram Cubans, right? Good, good weight to it, you know, 200 grams, 14 carat. And you bought those Cubans at $1,600 an ounce, all right? Goals at $2,000 an ounce now, all right? Now, mind you, remember, nobody's selling a Cuban at the $2,000 spot price, you know, you're going to mark it up to $55, $60 a fucking ounce, whatever, but a gram. Bucks right now. Okay, yeah. We charge 110 right? Mm -hmm. So let's say at that point, right, at 1600 remember, dog, you're paying fucking 26 27 a gram, right? Mm -hmm. Are you going to show some, some love and sell it at the $1,600 price, or are you selling at today's gold price? I'm selling at today's gold price, but if it's a homie. Thank if, God. If it's oh, a, don't if it's fuck a, this answer up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shoot me out. If I'm already up on those and it's a homie, I'm going to get him into it for a little under gold. Ugh. Tell the people why you sell that today's price. Because if we had to get some more of it, it'd be the same price. There it is, guys. Understand that when you're buying a chain and I get the DMs a lot, if gold is up one day and last week you bought gold at 1890 or something and today gold's at 2080, you can't sell it at 1890 because you got it then because I have to replace the chain yep. and gold tomorrow might be 24. So understand that when you come to Greg, Jimmy, me, Elliot, fucking, uh, what the fuck is that other dude's name? They just fucking said he blocked you. Which one? <laughs> all, all of them blocked me. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just a weird thing. So the more important question is now, is the watch game going to finally have either a correction or a crash? I don't know, dude. My watch a Submariner date dude, is $20,000 20, 20. for a Submariner date That's that I was great. selling and buying for 5Gs all day long. Dude, the Hulk's a 40. Yeah. The Hulk of the Kermit, the green on green, the green on green. Hulk. 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 40K, 42. And I had four or five of them I paid. Again, dude, 5Gs. So my question is this. Where is this money coming from? Don't say EDDs and all that bullshit. I'm just saying, like, when does it stop? Because not everyone could have this kind of money. Real question, bro. You're right across the street from fucking, what's his name? From, um, fuck, what's his name? I used to fucking buy shit from him all the time. Uh, fuck me, bro. I told you his name. Fucking, uh, Boris. What's that story? Mo Bor motion in time. Motion in time. Mm -hmm. How the fuck does he, like, this is ridiculous, bro. I'm, I mean... Even Avi, bro. Well, Avi's not an authorized dealer. Fucking at least most, like, who has more authorized watches? Do you think Avi or? Avi, Avi, Avi and Co., they got a nice fucking, they been, got a, It's the, it's, yo, it's everywhere his, I've been in the world. His spot is beautiful. It is probably the nicest thing. I just wish it was on the first floor. Shout, that, shout out to Avi, Avi and Co., Avi. Hey, I love Avi. That's my, that's my guy. He's been in my, let me, let me just shout out my, my guys on, the, on that street that I just, I feel like I should always pay homage to. Before you do that, I've sent two gigantic customers that has spent six figures each with Avi. Avi's, let me tell you something about Avi. Avi is an incredible human being. That's one. He's always held me down. There's nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Leon Diamonds. You know Leon Diamonds? No. The Nectars, the Nectar family. Richie Rich. David. Oh, Mike. Mike, yeah. Okay. That why can't, why that, can't Avi just give me a little fucking, small little fucking rope chain for free? I, 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 I didn't set this dude I, fucking I, 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 over a quarter I, million. All you gotta do is ask him. I don't think you ask him because you're so prideful. You have that, you know what I'm saying, bro. I just sent him two clients, bought some big pieces, can I, everything. Can, can I finish with my... With, my bad. With Leon my, Diamonds, Leon, Avi. Leon, Leon Diamonds, they always held me down. My man David Nictalov over there is incredible. They, you know what I'm saying? From when I went on my own, they held me all the way down. Right. BA Gold, Avi and Co. And Beyond Time is another one. Beyond Time? Shout out to Bilal. Okay. Jimmy, anybody help you out in the game? No. It is what it is. That um, sucks. Me against the world now. <laughs> you better start looking at this right here, bro. You, <laughs> I ain't give you no cosign? No, of course. No, I'm just saying. You already, you already know. Like, Actually, don't count for me. I'm talking about in Houston. Nobody's giving you. You know, the only person that put me in the game through it was, you know, like Nick. 
I always say that Iceman Nick. Yeah, you know, like Nick, man. Nick's a good dude. You know, he 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 showed me the the you know the way to make the money. So it's like it's always gonna be like family, you know what I mean? But shit, everything else is is cutthroat. I'll say. What do you think about these dudes that are making pieces in Thailand, in China, and having it made back? Like that store in Atlanta that has a YouTube channel that loves to post old videos that people don't they don't even fucking been in the store in three or four years and try to make new content. You know, I feel like for me, like especially coming into the jewelry business when I came in, you know, I feel like as a jeweler, we are like all artists. Um, I feel like if one client comes to us three and gives us a job, it should all come back different. Mm -hmm. When someone has it at the same, then they're not really using their creativity as artists. Um, My question is, when you have a big fan base that can't afford your jewelry, what do you think about that? I mean, that's, that's, that's... No, no, no. I'm talking about like more, like a bigger fan base than average, meaning they can't, they really can't afford your I jewelry. I mean, you, you, you have a low hanging fruit. Okay. Or you have good merchandise. I got my, shout out to M Jewelers. I partnered up with them. Those are my guys over I there. I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about a store in Atlanta. Okay. That has also 57% fake Instagram followers that posts all the rappers all the time. You, you know, you just take a guess who they are. Icebox? Yeah. YouTube following this, that, whatever. Selling the fucking low-ass quality. Motherfuckers be literally, bro, like, it'd be some low shit. Can this but shit I made li- in- But I like that when, when, when that happens. Because when they come to my shop and they come see me, and then they see the difference in the stuff. Ready, ready for this? That's my shit. My cousin is probably one of the pickiest guys in the world. Mm-hmm. He was a jeweler way before me. He was making pieces, doing repairs before everything. He's, he's a full service, doesn't do anything as he need to. And he said, man, listen, I'm going to tell you this real quick. Greg has turned shit to a different level. I think he might even follow you, bro. Mm. Steve's, a, Steve's a real unique mm-hmm. guy. So no, for that, real. That, Shout that, out that, to Steve, man. That's, that's a really, listen, really, really big compliment, bro, um, that Steve fucks I, you like I that. I appreciate that, but I take, you could see, like, I take pride in the stuff that I do and I make. Sure. It took no, me definitely. a long time to find my team. We just had a 17-year anniversary, my business, right? And Steve hit me and said, I can't fucking believe what you've done in the last 17 years. I cannot believe that there's been World Series of Pokers, there's been you know, Met Galas, there's been GIA things and shit like that. Is I just can't believe you've done this, especially because we started out in the hood. Like Greg is different, dog. I know some guys that start out in the Bronx. That you know that that isn't there a flea market in the Bronx where like a lot of jewelry is at? Uh, Fordham Fordham Road. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's like a. Uh, I don't think it's a flea market. It's like an outside. Okay, bro. That's nothing compared to Slauson, bro. Mm. Like. You want to talk about the trenches, bro? Like, it that's ain't how even... Col- that's how the Coliseum is in Queens. Yeah, 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 like yeah. Like yeah. that. But, but I'm going to be real with you. Sloss is even more grimy. Yo, but for, for, let me tell you something. 47th is grimy. It just... This, this, listen, listen to me. This is like... I'm dealing with fucking... 47th is not grimy, bro. Dude. It's just... It's in Manhattan, so it doesn't look grimy. This shit is grime. Can I tell you it's something... Grime. Can I just tell you something that made me want to throw up? Mm. I want to use your toilet. And you have a nice office and everything. It's not my toilet. It's the, first of all, let's, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Listen. There was a sh- the biggest shit. Did you see that shit stain the other day? Was Bro, that, there was dude, three of them. That wasn't, it's not my, it's, it's the hallway. Doc. Bathroom. Jimmy. It's the, it's the bathroom for the whole floor. There was explosive diarrhea on the toilet I walked in, seat. I walked into that room. It was the middle bathroom. Whoever you are on the 10th floor <laughs> in the 15 West, you nasty fuck. <laughs> dude. Bro, it wasn't even. It was like on the on the what's that thing the the, the lift part. It was, I was like I was gonna throw up. His I ass to- was on his back. I told Rachel, ask he Rachel. Hold I, said, it. Rachel. He, he didn't know. I saw that. I Jimmy, saw that. But that's fucking, not my bathroom, baby. It, it was fucking disgusting. Yeah. Okay. Now, another thing too, I want to talk about. If you put somebody on, who never ever thought about making jewelry, selling jewelry, never even thought about it, never even thought about it. Like someone who worked for, let's say, Ronnie. Mm-hmm. And you're like, you know, I'll put you on because you don't want to work with Ronnie. No, no beef, nothing. You just want to put him on, boom. Then the dude got in a beef. We got in a fight with Jay Frost and got in a fight with Rachel. Mm-hmm. Then decided to start fucking, you know, NYC grimy. There's all no jewelry brand. And the dude started bad mouthing you. Would you ever think like, look, dog, and it wasn't like anything where it's going to affect your business, but wouldn't you be like, yo, Dog, you weren't even thinking about this, dog. You that you weren't even making any dollars, no rent, no nothing. If you never met me, how'd I make you feel? I mean, I don't. I feel like I'm the person I am today. I wouldn't even. I mean, I might be a little. You know, I'm 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 a cancer. 
I'm, I'm sensitive as fuck. I know, but, I, but, but just but, let me finish. Okay, let me finish. Depending on who it is and, and how it went down, would, I would have to, you know, assess the situation. I don't know. But I, I probably wouldn't pay too much. Even if you're the bigger man, you never say anything publicly. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about inside. Wouldn't you ever think like... It'd be probably fuck you, you but I let, you I let God You know how fucking funny that. this is, bro? It's like, dog, you wouldn't even be here without me. This is my thing. If you leave me and you do better, I'm not going to be mad. Opposite for my business partners. They, they would think like, that sucks. I would be proud. Think about what Avion has done. I love Joe. I love Izzy. I love their dad. Just think about people who've left there and actually flourished. That's, that's a hard thing to do. You know what I'm saying? Especially in the block, whatever. I'm just saying, that's like, I want people to understand. If you stop fucking with me, there's a dude who was working with me. And he ain't working with me like in a year and a half or so. I just got him a job with Pharrell. And I think it's kind of working out. That's actually one of the first ones where someone under me, I ain't talking about other people I put on. I'm talking about in jewelry. I want people to fucking get shit cracking. Pharrell's about to do jewelry now, by the way. You know, I don't know if you know that, but I'm saying, how do you feel? Like, have you, have you had anybody in jewelry you put on and they're kind of doing something now or no? No, nah, I can't. I got, I got one that I, you know, I'm working with now, you know, Plug Geo. He, he's a beast. He's on his way. Um, he young. He's 23 years old. 24 now. Who was the dude that used to work for T for for Johnny? Remember in, in Gio. Oh, that's him? Mm -hmm. He used to work for Johnny and he just exposed him and <laughs> sit there. Yeah. So he's doing his thing now. No, definitely. He's doing his thing. Oh, what happened to that white boy that used to work with Johnny? Remember that that white dude who was like, what the fuck's his name? He's like a super white dude with a beard and everything. You know what I'm talking about? Come on, bro. You know who I'm talking about. He looks like a straight white, like he looked like a damn near like a like he could be a surfer or something, but you know what I'm talking about? He used to do all the art designs with them, and I guess Johnny dicked him. Man, I don't know. I, I think I know who you're talking about, but he I wasn't doing jewelry, though. He was supposedly doing content for them or something. I don't know. I forgot. But, you know, like, in, in the situation, like, shh, bro, there's a lot of, un, like, I don't want to say unappreciative, but there's a lot of people in this world that are going to be what they're meant to be. You know what I mean? So, I mean, in the situation that Greg was in, I don't want to talk about a name. I don't want to talk about else. If I was him, I'd be happy that my boy went and did something bigger because, in a way try to hold somebody down, do all these things, put these obstacles, put all these blocks up, boom. He gets through them like, yo, at a certain point. I remember being like a little punk ass kid and being like, no, fuck that, this, that, whatever. Someone does that. You know, at that point, you have to look at it like you did a great job. Set that person up. Even if you did them dirty, whatever, boom. All right, now it's time to, you know what I'm saying? Do that shit for yourself. You know, he didn't surpass the fucking, you know what I'm saying, the launching pad. That's why I just look at it. That's what I'm, that's what I'm looking at, man. I done did my thing. You have, Greg. But, you know. What did you say before we turned the mics on? I don't remember. You were saying something about something that I helped you with and it, it made it. No, made I was going to say that when, 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 you know, when I got into the industry, you know, we were talking about like the whole Jacob and, and, and you know, Jacob is, is always going to be legendary. He's the guy that kind of set the bar, right? Yeah, and definitely. And after that, to me, to me, after that, the, Ben was the only one in the industry that when I got into it, that was the guy. I was like, if I go head to head with anybody, it's going to be this guy. You know, and I reached out to Ben and I'm like, yo, look, I really love what you do. Let's let's get on this. But you, you know, you co-signing that gave it because you're not going to co-sign some bullshit. You're not. You, you know, I can't you, you, look you, silly. you're not. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like the the worth ethic and, and the style, I felt like you fucked with it. I even made him change his game up. Mm, yeah. Like real talk. He was like, oh, fool, cool. You know what? I'm the streets, Jula Doom. I'm like, yo, bro, stop being that. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like when I got into it, like you didn't even think I was serious about it because I didn't even really know. I never had plans on being a jeweler. I was around him so long. But, you know, after a while, I guess keep putting in work. That's when he realized, like, yo, okay, you, you're really serious about what you're doing. You know what I mean? So I appreciate that. You know what I mean? Like, even watching you, watching Greg, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm fans, you know what I mean? Like, Thank to you. this day, like I said, you know what I mean? Like, I still want to brace it. I remember when I hit you about you, like, why don't you just make it? And I'm like... Because it's not from me, it's from right, you. You right, know, it's right, your right, thing. Right. So, like, ready for this, man? I love the art. You know, I love the jewelry. I've worn like two different things that he's made. And it's the ultimate compliment, is it not? I do. I love when you rock my shit. And I've helped this guy with things. There's things that, I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't give you that plug. And it's something where, like, I have guys like Kanye or Kid Cudi be like, yo, let me get some more of that sauce. Yeah. And they'll be like, yo, boom. And he hits me up. And I was like, you know what, dog? I'm going to plug you. And he's never said thank you about it, by the way. And I got him set up. He's got his own little branding on everything. Boom. Still doesn't said shit, whatever. I'm like, all right, cool. And we get a lot of money for that shit anyways. Thank you, Ben. Um, 
You know what's funny is you said something earlier. We kind of went over it, but I want to bring it back and highlight it. If someone hired us each individually to make a bear, a C or something, you're absolutely right. Each one of us would make it differently. And I already see it. I envision. Mm-hmm. I envision. The back of it would be totally different because the way he does things. Prong setting on that that way you guys got going on different. We have Michael, you, Pave, done up certain ways. It would be different all the way through. And I respect that. One of the biggest things I respect, and it happens to be because we're here and it's no joke. And when I mean that, I mean like it's not by accident. What's your name, your jewelry name? Greg Yuna. What's your jewelry name? Jimmy Boy. What's my jewelry name? Baby Baller. Okay. Is there a jeweler anywhere near in our name? I would you would you asking if there's any what? I'm saying there's no Ben Baller the jeweler, there's no right. Ben no, Baller no. jewelry, right, right, there's right, no right. ever. Right. Why didn't you have Greg the jeweler? Why didn't you name your name that way? I'm just being honest. Because I, just, I think that shit is cheesy. It's corny as fuck. After Jacob did the Enco, everybody was on the Enco shit. But he was never Jacob the jeweler. The streets named him Jacob the jeweler. Right, right, you know right, 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 right. I was just saying. Never said that. So how come you didn't go like Jimmy Boy jewelry or this, that, blah, blah? You know, you didn't even do done right jewelry. You did done right and co. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Which is because it's a company, you're a corporation. Why didn't you pick like Jimmy Boy the jeweler or something like? I'm uh, curious because I know the reason, but like I'm curious if you know the reason. For me, like number one, too, like it, it definitely sounds tacky. Number two, though, like I feel like um, it was just I wasn't just selling jewelry. You know what I mean? I was just there overall it is. a it lifestyle. It limits your brand possibilities. Right. I mean, I was always... And you much, have separate yeah. stuff because he has... I know it sounds crazy, but Mark Jacobs, in a way, he makes it funny, but he's, you know, and dude, I'm so thankful to have a friend like Mark Jacobs mm-hmm. to wear, like, pieces of shit from me. You know what I'm saying? Jewelry, whatever, boom. Slides, T-shirt, whatever. He reps. And this is a fucking billion-dollar, fuck, one of the greatest uh, fashion designers in history, right? Definitely. Love this guy. And it's like, Mark, he has Mark. Then he has Mark by Mark Jacobs. Then he has the Mark Jacobs line. Then he has Mark Jacobs many other things, whatever. And it's like funny because you see this wallet and it says Mark by Mark Jacobs for Mark Jacobs. You know what I'm saying? Like clowning, like, you know, some level, that mm-hmm. next level shit, you know, flexing shit. And you think about it, his jewelry brand is Greg New- Yuna New York. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he's Greg Yuna. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I got Ben Baller, but I have IF and Co., right? Because we were Icy Fresh, but we got sued. Boom. Yeah. When I see people call themselves the jeweler, I really wonder, like, you know how fucking stupid that sounds? And people say, oh, you're hating, blah, blah, blah. No, Doc, you're limiting yourself. It's just dumb. But that's just who they are, though. A lot of them, if you realize it, that's just all they are. No, that's all they got for life. That's literally, mm-hmm. that's just basically, that's their lives. And I get it. Like, the another thing, too, is I want to point out, your parents never had multi-millions and diamonds and jewelry, and there was no generational mm-hmm. money there. I know your cousin is different, whatever. I don't care about that. You, absolutely not. If anything, you took care of your parents and everything like that, whatever, yeah. and you've been on your own. Me, my dad's a fucking teacher. My mom fucking sew dresses, right? So I want to give all of us a pat on the back. Um, not that we need it, but... Shit, I'll take it. I want... <laughs> a lot has happened in two years, dog. Mm-hmm. I want to see it on a whole nother level, Greg. You know? I'm proud of you. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time, I feel like, you know what, dog? He's just sitting here thinking about pussy and thinking about bitches. And I just feel like, and I know you get to the money, but I'm talking about like, you said the pandemic did well for you. I just thrived in the pandemic. I'm okay. Saying, you know? My life changed in the pandemic, Greg. Like, why are you looking at me like that? No, no, I'm just, you just, you know, I'm just. I'm, I'm just I was semi-lit. And then I went to a whole different level, bro. Like I'm being real. Like in the last like 18 months, my life changed completely. Like damn near forever. So, you know, you too, Jimmy. I ain't got to tell you, you know what I'm saying? I crack up. You got your shit going, boom, here and there. The only thing with you, you Jimmy, is I don't like how you talk this crazy shit online and you know, you like, Ehh. and then you're around me and you get humble. I don't like that. <laughs> I want you to be fucking tough guy around me too and everything. But I've um, always just played my position even before, you know what I mean? Since you know me, 15, 16 years, yeah. I always just played the back, you know what I mean? Like he like big bro, so I just let you do you. I just you want him to be and fucking, I, back I want him to be more tougher. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, fuck, man. I just, I don't like his, like, he's like, all right, dog, whatever. No, bro, no. I want him to be more fucking like, you know, when he's online, like, look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they know what it, it is, man. Up. At the end of the day, they know what it is. Yeah. I'm going to keep, you know, continuing. But I'll let him know, though. I'm going to let him know. Trust me. No, I hear you. I'm going to keep continuing to send you guys, um, you know, vibes, uh, referrals, work, everything like that. But what I do want to see out of you, Greg, 
I'm going to take it there. Don't you worry. No, 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 no. There's only two more Met Galas coming. You got one coming end of this year. Mm -hmm. You got one after. It's a very difficult thing to do. I get it. I want to see your fucking shit on, on motherfuckers' necks at the Met Gala. Uh, how did I, we, had, we just got Russell Westbrook last year. Oh, that's right. Come on, baby. But you know what I'm talking about, dog. I know what you're saying. I know what I'm you're talking saying. about some... Bro, I brought that Cos piece out and nobody said anything here for we a go. good... Here we go. Am I lying? No, Ben, but it, you know, you, you, it, it's like... I don't talk about Julie on the show, Greg. You have to understand, I don't talk about it. All right, sure enough. 261 episodes, I've brought it up maybe five times. That means that's not even 1% of what I'm talking about on this show. That's why, you know, when I talk about whatever certain things, I don't talk about myself like that. I'm just saying, we brought that piece out. It changed the game, bro. And on top of that, because, you know. Can I say something? Say something. Bro. I think you had way more piece, better pieces than that. I'm sorry. I didn't say I did. Bubble. I didn't you say I didn't. Saying? It was nice. Bro, when, pe when people saw. But you had you have some shit that. When people saw out. the Murakami and the entire chain was different fucking that's ghosts shit. and shit like I'm that. Spinning. That's my shit. Yeah. Half was spinning, half wasn't. That is my shit. Everything, all that's precious fine. gemstones. But that caused nope. thing, all right, whatever. Cool. I get you only you understand what it is. Like we don't but the thing is the I the, think when you see it and you see the thing weighs a fucking kilo it's not that, and it's twenty five that, thousand pieces. Me, that's not impressive to me. The, the shit you did with Mark Hami, that's fucking that's yeah. yeah. That's the impressive. thing though though is that that cause piece is going to museums and gonna be on tour and people have offered, you know, millions of dollars. These Chinese people are rich as fuck. It's gonna be in museums, it's gonna be around for, you know, hundred years. It's gonna be going around. So that's why I think it was kind of dope, because it was a museum no, archive piece. But that Murakami Kiki piece, because, you know, when I first made Tyler's flower chain, it was a different level. And I'm going to be honest with you. Tyler's so creative, he designed that piece, right? And then, let me ask you this, Greg. Did you see the piece that Alex made, Tyler? Like the little man carrying yeah, the suitcase? Yeah, with the balls. Yeah. yeah. What did you think of that joint? I thought it was cool. I say you just thought it was cool? It was, it was nice. Okay. Do you, thought, think, do you think it was fucking with the Igor piece? I think the Igor, is, but it's these are two different pieces. You know what I mean? Like okay. they're both fire. The Igor piece was fire. Right. Those are dope. But that's like, you know what I mean? <laughs> there was a whole thing it's, behind it's, the whole it's, Igor. It's, you know that what I mean? Shit, that shit was cool. Yeah. But I think what Alex did was smooth. You know what I mean? I think he brought back that 06 vibe. You know what I'm saying? The colors and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was just, I just want to see you. This is the thing. I don't think you can't do it. I know you can. I just think the the right client hasn't hit you with that yet. I, that, that's my thing. I feel like yeah, I'm. You know, I've always been underrated. You know that. I don't think you're underrated in my book anymore. I no, just no, don't no. think I'm that. Just like I'm, okay. I'm, I'm waiting for like J Balvin gives me plays. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, Stilo gives me plays. Hold on, wait a second. Two guys. I told Jay I could get him on a fucking no, no, phone right me, now. He told me. You're I right, told him I say, hey, bro, go to Greg. He's the man. Blah blah whatever. I'm gonna be real with you, Jose. Paper is longer than any nah, of the dudes. No, friends. no, 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 no. You're not listening to me. His paper is a lot longer than these guys who spent millions with me. Mm -hmm. Okay. The creativity, he just has to hit that part. I've made some legendary shit with them. It ain't been like on that, you know, those other bigger things. I think you could hit that with him. I could hit that any day. I'm just wait. I'm I'm waiting for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right? yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Where I'll be like, oh, I'm shit. just waiting for the whole thing. Is like not a lot of people are giving me the 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 budgets that I want to. Like I got shit. I just need you know. Yeah. That's they gotta the spend. This is jewelry, Finding people. people like I'm budget. not trying to bargain with somebody for like. But I mean, look, dude. What 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 did Six Nine spend on that joint? The shark alone was uh, one seventy five. Yeah. I mean, bro. Somebody give me a five hundred thousand dollars budget. I'll show you what I do. Yeah, oh, that's what I was about to say. I was like, "What do you mean?" If you, you, I, no, 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 I, I, no, no, I thought no, you saying. were saying someone gave you. I was like, "What the fuck?" That's no, that you do it. No, 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 no. I'm saying somebody. If somebody gives me a five hundred thousand yeah. dollars budget, it's a wrap. It's I'm rare just, to find know, them right now. You know, that's willing to let you yeah, just do so what you do. I, I, run. So that's what I'm saying. But I that's do my what little, I liked about doing the shark. I didn't have a budget. That's why fucking Kanye ran it. You know, fucking disrespectful that is. Fucking like, oh yeah, I don't spend thirty five thousand. You were six billion. Allegedly, yeah, but some people just don't want to. No, spend no, no, money no, 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 bro. He spends money, dog. I'm just saying, bro. You know, all right, Kanye, you want to spend that? Okay, cool. You're not getting that for me. <laughs> the thing is, you know, all these these jewelers that blocked you that are doing free jewelry. You think they would? Add, you think Kanye would do a piece with them? He wouldn't, dog. He just wouldn't. No, exactly. It's funny as hell. Anyways, all right, guys. Look, man, love you guys. I I do expect more out of you. Think you guys are doing great. I think it's time to turn up. I got some shit cooking.
60 bands a month in rent on one store, dog. You don't want to see what the factory looks like. Goodbye. If I show you my office right now, bro, that's why I'm saying it's like you motherfuckers need to step your shit up because I fucking think you are just being too nice and you're too comfortable in where you are. I like I like staying out the way. I'm, I'm working on some other things. You can stay out the way? I'm chilling, man. You're just too comfortable. I'm bubbling. He's, start, he's starting to feel the pain right now. Jimmy's starting to feel the pain. He told me, he told me, this, that was the most honest shit he's ever said to me. I'm like, God damn. You know, you bench press something, like, oh, fuck, I don't put too many weights on these motherfuckers, bro. Like, what am I going to do? That was the most honest shit. I say it all the time, bro. You know? Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you are a jeweler, I don't care where you are. You could be in Zimbabwe. You could be in Australia. You could be in New York. You could be in Texas. You could be anywhere else. If you are a jeweler and you are at least doing consistent $15,000, $20,000 pieces, I want to put you on the show. I want to really give you that exposure Try to see what you got going on, and I'm going to dissect your whole business plan. But right now, I got to let you guys know, these are two men that I respect at the utmost, maybe the most possible in all of jewelry, and not just the United States, but in the world. It's my man, Greg Yuna. You can find him on Instagram. What is it? Greg Yuna. Just one word, right? No. There's no dot between the... Nah, it's okay. Greg Yuna. Jimmy Boy, what's, what's your Instagram? Jimmy X B O I. Oh, that's right. It's X. Okay. Jimmy X B O I. And you already know the deal, guys. Uh, hey, thank you. I love you guys. Love you too, bro. I love you fine. What a fucking bitch ass little fucking. Anyways, <laughs> fuck out of here. Let me. Okay. I ain't even got to say nothing. I hear that lakey lake in the background. All right, y'all. We'll be right back. We got a little commercial. And then uh, I'm going to talk my shit offline. What's up, guys? This is one of my favorite times of the year. March Madness. Now it's extra special because I am making fistfuls of cash on sports bets with my partners at CaptainPicks.com. That's our family. There's absolutely strength in numbers, and this is the best betting community out there. BTB Army. You've heard me talk about Captain Picks before, and now we want to offer you the opportunity for new users to get a buy one get one free coupon for all sports did you hear what i said buy one day get one free buy one week get one free use promo code cash it c-a-s-h-i-t all caps for the captains if you're ready to step into the big leagues you can also sign up for an annual plan that's billed monthly to get picks every day by our experts in NBA, MLB, NCAA, NFL, NHL, golf, soccer, tennis, rugby, UFC, prop bets, parlays, and more. Go to captainpicks.com. Use promo code CASHIT. It's one word, CASHIT, where winning season is always in season. CaptainPicks.com. You know what? Um, I forgot to mention because I was so caught up in that Will Smith, Chris Rock shit. The guy who wrote the Oscar monologue, the, the beginning intro for Wanda Sykes, uh, Amy Schumer, and the fucked up part about it is the third girl is um, Regina Hall. They had a monologue that obviously started off the show and... I had no idea till after that I was talked to um, by the writer and by a producer of the Academy Awards that I was actually written into the original monologue where Wanda Sykes says they were, I guess they were talking about toning it down, not wearing so many chains. And then Wanda Sykes was supposed to say, nah, you know what though? I'm just joking. I got my girl from Ben Baller. If she would have said that, I would my, my fucking head would have exploded. The fact that that shit's gone to that point, maybe I did go pop. I don't know. That's fucking crazy, right? But I was written into the fucking Academy Awards Oscars monologue. Insane. I guess I've made it. Um, this Saturday, which is the day after the mall, is Nicolette's birthday. So um, happy birthday to my wife. You have been a very, very big part of... <laughs> the biggest part of change in my life and transition it has been the biggest part of, of stability in my life. And um, a lot of people don't know this. You know, I think... I've said it here a couple of times, but a lot of people would just assume like, it's weird when people say like, oh, she's a gold digger. It's like, yo, she came from a wealthier family than, you know, I started out, you know, with, with her with. So it's, it's kind of weird. You know, she comes from almost a royal family in a way, very prominent family, sorry, with that last name, Laxon. If you, anyone 
who is Filipino. You asked him what that last name is. That last name is damn near, you know, I wouldn't say it's at the Kennedy, but, you know, it's it's a very prominent last name. If you're in the Philippines and your last name is Laxon or Laxon, right, and you get pulled over by a cop or something, trust me, you're going to have less problems. That's how serious that last name is. Uh, I'm going to go to Bape. I'm gonna, you know, fuck it. Let's talk about this Bape collab. So, guys, I know last time I did say that this Bape collab was going to drop April 9th. That is not going to happen now. I need more promo time. I need some more help from Bape. They usually jump in like right about a week before and really get popping. But I'm about to get this shit cracking, get the hype going. And this is a super limited collab, okay? My official Bathing Ape Los Angeles collaboration is going to drop on May 7th at the Melrose Los Angeles Bape store, okay? May 7th is the official date. There's a very limited number amount of t-shirts that will be for sale and even way more limited amount of pieces of jewelry, okay? There will be an offering of a custom piece of jewelry, two custom different pieces with chains, right? Ben Baller bait pieces. Ben Baller shall never kill ape pieces. The first offering, there will be 10 micro pieces for sale. Price will be determined soon. There will be four baby size Ben Baller bait pieces for sale. Four baby size pieces, 10 micro pieces, okay? The only problem is this. There's going to be a private offering to VIPs and celebrities a little bit before that. And, um, you know, it might not be available. It's a very, very, very limited amount. And this is the first time that Bape has ever offered fine jewelry. It's the first time a jeweler has ever collaborated with Bathing Ape. I'm very proud of it. Again, May 7th is the official launch date now. We're going to have some stickers. We're going to have some good old shit going on. And I'm going to be there. I'm going to do some giveaways. I'm going to do some signings and all that stuff. And I'm excited like a motherfucker. You know what I'm excited for? Baller Breaks. Coming soon, don't have an exact date. Very soon, we're going to be breaking cards, boxes, packs, all that good shit. Panini, Tops, F1, basketball, football. Ben Baller Chrome is going to debut on Baller Breaks later on this year. Baller Breaks is going to be exclusive only to the network app. And I got some shit coming out on the network app. That is for goddamn sure. Um, What else? I will be making it to Hippie Hill this year, guys. I was kind of unsure because I got my cruise. I got the kids for, for, for a spring break. I got this other stuff. My wife has her best friend come and visit her. Look, Ben Baller Strain will be at Hippie Hill. Cookies fam, it is going to be in fucking sane. As you know, 420 2019, I was not podcasting then. If you guys remember from my stories, that was the largest cannabis gathering in the world in history okay there was over 100,000 people at Golden Gate Park 420 2020 was going to break the record and then they still canceled in 2021 because San Francisco is just fucking tight like that this year 420 2022 I think it's a Wednesday it is going to be fucking insane absolutely bedlam uh we have a license to sell fucking cannabis yes my boy David Kang my partner, the fucking man, Korean motherfucking cannabis guru, you know, um, mogul in this shit is, you know, we're going to be there. It is Wednesday, April 20th, 420 in San Francisco. Imagine 420 p.m. on 420 at Golden Gate Park. It is going to be absolutely fucking nuts. I'm going to be out there with family. They will not be at Hippie Hill, but it's going to be fucking crazy and yes, there's going to be all kinds of Ben Baller shit and all kinds of stuff that's going on. Um, quick outro, man. We're not really doing too much here. But the final four starts this weekend. Uh, who you got? I don't know, man. I think that Duke might get it cracking. You know I'm not a big fan of Duke. I love a good story, though. You know, you lost the home, his last home game, you know. And, uh, you know, the boys in North Carolina had disappointed him. So now this is, they're saying, the biggest game in Duke and NC, uh, the Tar Heels, history ever. Just fucking crazy, right? Some big games. It's, it's that big of a fucking game. I think the winner of that game decides, you know, who wins the championship. I'm not really hyped on Kansas, even though they've been doing their thing, you know, playing straight fundamentals and shit and everything. But, yo, man, make sure you go to my bookie and fucking, uh, you know, fuck with Captain Picks. You know, they have all the fucking bets and everything. These guys are masters. Uh, we are masters. 
you know, our whole team. But yeah, man, the Final Four is crazy. Uh, the Lakers. I'm I'm just like, look, I'm I'm excited for the Dodgers, right? The off season for football is already just so fucking nuts. There's nothing really to say here. I, I don't want to talk about DK or anything. I don't believe in any of that mumbo jumbo. There's been some crazy shit that's been going on. But as far as the Lakers, I don't think we're we're not going to make the play in tourney, right? We just got knocked out of 10th place. I think we're like actually technically like right there now because San Antonio just lost and barely by a shot. It's a weird thing. I don't think we're going to make the play in tourney. We got what, six games left. I am still going to the last home game. Insane amount of motherfucking money going on with this game. Just like fucking blown away. You know what is crazy is, again, I mean, everyone said this already. We were like, you know, the, I want to say the favorite, but I kind of be like, I don't know, you know, but the, before the season started, we're like, yo, man, it's going to be Nets and Lakers. And look, the Nets are fucking in a fucked up position right now. And we're fucking around. And LeBron is going to maybe possibly, highly likely, not going to make it to the playoffs for the first time in his life. That's how fucked up our shit is. It's fucking embarrassing. Okay, you know what else is embarrassing? The fucking refereeing last night in that fucking Denver Nuggets game. In that Indiana game, it was a fucking trash. Austin Rivers, not because he's my homie and he always gets fucked with or whatever. And, and Austin does look, Austin sometimes thinks he can punk me and don't realize, like, I don't give a fuck. He just has to put up that thing because he gets punked by so many big fucking NBA players that he feels like I'm lesser than that when I'm fucking, fuck all those dudes, right? Austin Rivers last night got ejected for not throwing a fucking elbow at Lance Stevenson. I watched that show. I was like, yo, bro, it wasn't even a fucking, it wasn't a close call. It wasn't even a faraway call. It was like, it was like calling Michael Jordan for a foul. What are you talking about? Michael Jordan doesn't play basketball. That's how fucking off that shit was. So whoever, I didn't see who the fucking referee's name was, fuck him. That ref needs to be fined. And they need to fucking reprimand him and put some shit behind that motherfucker because that was terrible. Now, speaking of terrible, I ended up watching that fucking movie Inside Game, which was a story about the NBA ref that was fixing games and whatever. Look, ain't no spoilers, okay? You can Google the fucking story or whatever. I mean, I mean, I just, I want to save you guys $11 or five bucks, whatever the fuck it cost. Don't watch that bullshit punk ass bitch ass movie, all right? These motherfuckers weren't going to get away scot-free, but definitely with some fight, the feds didn't have shit on them, okay? I'm not saying you can beat everyone, whatever, blah, blah, people say, oh, you know, you shouldn't go, no, fuck all that. There's definitely motherfuckers out there who've beat the feds. And let me tell you, that bitch-ass referee was a cornball, fucking goofy motherfucker. He admitted to doing some bullshit, he said he called all the games legit, but he admitted something else. And guess what? It don't matter. It didn't do anything better. Whether he has a clear conscience and his, his dad told him or some shit. I don't know if it was fucking religion. Corny as fuck. You goofy as fuck, bro. I hate motherfuckers that want to do some shade or do some crimes and then fuck around and fuck everyone else's shit up. It just, ugh. That shit just, I don't know, fucked me up. And then I, I watched House of Gucci on the plane ride over here. I don't want to get into the whole fucking plane ride because I was just praising JetBlue. And thank God I was in a fucking, you know, a suite, not sitting next to, you know, three other people, whatever. But usually, I mean, it's very rare if, God forbid, there's like a, a canceled flight or something, I have no choice and I get home. I usually buy the whole row. It's only happened twice if I had to fucking sit there. But anyways, watched House of Gucci, man, and it just wasn't that great. I want to fucking, but again, it's based on a certain story. Um, I was waiting for fucking Jared Leto to fucking be in the movie. Didn't realize he's in the fucking entire movie. That's how good the makeup was. I had no fucking idea. But there were some cool era points, but I just, eh, I don't know, man. I really need a good movie to fucking watch. Something new. I need a good new movie. Whether it be the kids' movies, fucking something. I just feel like I haven't watched good shit in a while. Everyone's watching TV shows and streaming this. this. Fuck that. Where's a good movie? Because the Batman wasn't it, all right? But guys, anyways... That's it for the show. Hope you liked the interview. I hope you guys have a great weekend. And uh, oh yeah, you know what? I got to give a shout out to Kashi Murakami, my brother, my big bro. He just dropped his NFT, uh, Murakami Flowers. He airdropped me uh, a couple uh, of them joints. And um, I'm very grateful. Cannot wait for him to get here. But yeah, that's it for this episode. And um, 
this week we've been on fucking fire. Ever since the Alex Choice shit and Jimmy Boy co-hosting and everything. And I'm grateful again to Jimmy and Greg for being on the show. But again, that is it, guys. Please tell a friend to tell a friend. I know a million fucking jewelers are going to listen to this episode and be mad at Greg and be mad at somebody else. I don't fucking know. But what I do know is BTB Army, I love you guys. I cherish you guys more than ever. If you are super following me on Twitter, then you know you are getting different content, different types of things, different shit than I would ever even say here, even on here. Plus, more access to me. And that's what's important. But again, we are out of here. Have a great weekend. Much love. My man, Lakey Lake, is going to take us out of here. All right, y'all. Peace. Peace.